11 athletes, 10 games, 100 yards, hundreds of players, thousands of fans, countless snaps, blocks, and tackles, one goal. This is Black hey, Diamond yeah, Football. Now, here's Justin Pettit and Dave Martin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Perry F. Lattimore Stadium, the home of the Southside Black Diamonds. For game number two of the Black Diamonds football season, Justin Pettit with you, joined by my play-by-play -play partner, Dave Martin. Dave, last week didn't go the way things, uh, the, Black, the way the Black Diamonds wanted up at Catusa with a 14-7 loss. It's all right, but tonight, the 2 and I Stingler Panthers, they put up a half a hundred the last two weeks against Harshaw and Westville. Those are two opponents, but tonight they come to 4A Salisaw here at Perry and Flattimore and Salisaw. Black Diamonds who are 0-1. 14-7 last week against Katusa. Uh, a lot happened last week. Had a couple of bad breaks. Uh, two new turnovers. Uh, the Diamonds had three takeaways from Katusa, but that drag game and fullback of Katusa was too strong last week. So we'll see what happens this week. Yeah, it kind of, you're right. It, it, they, the Diamonds outgained Katusa on a uh, total offense. They seem to be control of the game, but you're right. Just a couple of costly turnovers pretty much sealed the deal for them, but there were some positives. The defense looked outstanding. Uh, if you look at the uh, it's the, you know, the offense, it's really good to get a gel going, but I think they're going to be okay coming around. But you like Stigler comes here, don't let the 3A fool you. They can put up some points, and they are led by their quarterback, number nine, T.J. Spearman. He was a six-foot senior, 32 of 51, 508 yards so far this year, eight touchdowns and one interception. He also has nine rushes for 69 yards and a touchdown. He, without a doubt, is their leader. Yeah, Stigler, uh, they got Coach Coach Chris Reisenhofer. Right. Um, this is his second year with the program. The year before he took over, they, they weren't playing no. like Stigler should no. uh, uh, traditionally, but this year they're putting up a lot of points on the board. Yeah, some, some other good players for, 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 to watch for, for Stigler, number 20, a running back named Garrett Brooks. He's a 5'6 junior, has 27 carries for 294 yards and three touchdowns. He's had over 100 yards in each of the first two games, including 181 yards last or excuse me, the opener against Westbrook. Yep. And uh, last year, Stigler and Salisaw. Salisaw went down to Hackle County. Uh, it was Great game. I was too on radio. Um, I love radio. I love football. We were there. I, I was there with the radio. Right. So we were there. Yeah. I listened to that game. And it was a heartbreaker. 33 28. Stigler. Uh, I don't think they've doubled it to the Diamonds in many years. So knock on wood. What will happen around here? South Salt Lake Diamond. Could it take Yeah, South Salt shut him out the year before right here at Perry uh, Stadium. So, yeah, last year it was just uh, a pick six that pretty much sealed the deal for South Salt. And then again, they had a punt return to Wade Stigler. So, special team was kind of a, a disappointment last week. But I think, like I said, something. Everything that happened last week, everything that could possibly went wrong, went wrong for Salsa. And still, like, just barely lost. Like, lots of lots of positives. Some more players to watch for Stigler. Uh, number four, Dawson Barger. He's a 5'11 senior. 11 catches, 196 yards and three touchdowns. Also had 69 yards rushing. So he's one of those guys that apparently looks like he the ball in his hand. And really good yeah, Stigler's going to put, try to put up a lot of points tonight. So it's going to be a good test for Salsa. Of course, it's an orange Japan. It's not even in our class, but... Uh, Hey, Stigler can play some football, so a yeah, good test for your Black Diamonds tonight. Last week, Brad Bell, this is his first game, first time at Salisaw School System. Uh, first game on Friday night here for Salisaw, and uh, I think he played pretty well. And I think they need to maybe look at the middle of the field a little bit. There was a lot going on the outside. We'll see what the coaches have playing this week. Yeah, yeah, definitely the coaches look at that. You look at Stigler, they're a very balanced offense. Uh, 569 yards a game is what they're averaging, 303 on the ground, 265 to the air. That's pretty good for a high school mm -hmm. team. That's putting up a lot of points. To be doing that. And, of course, uh, Stigler last year finished 7-4, and four, lost in the opening round of the Class 3 playoffs to Tahlequah Sequoia yes. in a overtime defeat, 26-20. to 20. So these guys, they've been there much like Southside. Uh, don't Again, the 3A, just throw no. that out the door. This is no. going to be a fantastic contest from all indications. They're mm -hmm. a high up-tempo up team. Love to get the ball, much like Southside. They don't huddle much, so we'll try to keep up. Hopefully we can. <laughs> this is going to be a lot different than Katusa last week, who, as we said, played Bielema ball. That's right. And like to just line it up three yards in the cloud That's of dust. Right. But it worked for them. You know, it worked for them. Uh, going back to last week at Katusa, sure. there were a lot of players that stood out. Uh, you mentioned Brad Bell already, yep. who had a great game. Uh, Jordan Oliver, yeah, he played uh, well. backup quarterback, uh -huh. maybe. He even played at receiver. He <laughs> yeah. played all over the field. I had a great game. Hunter Kaypoort, of course, had had to miss a few plays. Got a little banged up there, but and then Clay Glass on the defensive side of the ball. Great. The the playmakers that you expect to to make plays for Southall did just that, and we expect more of that. And we we'll, we uh we have rosters this week for Stigler. We have rosters this week, gonna be great. so we're gonna have lots of names for you. We got all kinds of of tidbits that we're gonna talk about. 
And uh, we're just about getting ready to get this thing underway here, yeah. about seven minutes. So, again, thank you so much. This is our second game here yeah. on Dominette, uh, Channel 19, 819. Uh, or if HD. you're, if you're uh, also want to tell you that they're going to rebroadcast the game as well, I believe to – I know on Tuesday night, I think tomorrow at 10 a.m. we'll have a rebroadcast of the game, so you can check it out there and tell your friends. And, of course, uh, if you got a friend maybe that's out of town and they can't have Diamondette, KXMX.com, just click on the South Salt Black Diamond button. It'll take you right to the stream, and you can check it out there. We had a lot of people watching us out of state last week and critiquing us, but like like I told them, Madden and Summer all we are not yet, but we're getting there, my friend. We're, we're, we're going to get there. And, of course, Dave – You've been you've been on the, those sidelines before, and after a tough loss, uh, sure. how do you? If you're a young kid, I have to put myself in the mind of a teenager, mm -hmm. and how, how difficult is that to pick yourself up and, and get back after? Well, it? after a loss on a Friday night, you you're down. Right. I mean, you hit the showers, and you got Especially your head on Labor down. Day. Sure, yeah, right. yeah I know. <laughs> and so Saturday, you got to just wash it away. Go watch film on Sunday. Monday, get back to work. Um, I don't think since there was Labor Day, there was no JV game, but the JV game. As time goes on through the year, win or lose, the JV game can be really, really important on Monday nights to help develop those younger players, those freshmen, those sophomores, for the future. So I think that as time goes on, those sophomores are really going to start to pick things up as they get more snaps in JV games right. and come out here on Friday nights for the big show. Right, and we mentioned that there was not a lot of things for uh, for Salisaw to, to look down on. And, you know, they had a lot of positives. The offense, it seems like it was just a play away. It was there. You know, the, the offensive line play, played pretty good. Uh, actually, they played very well. And Brad yeah. Bell in his first start, like sure. you said, he, he played well. But the defense, we were very impressed with the defense. Yeah. Noah all, the, Davis. all those guys, Noah Davis on the line there, mm -hmm. all those guys. And it was just it was just a great performance yep. by the Diamonds. just didn't work out. Yep. And you shaked it off. You only lost by seven in and, and a, and a, and a, a weird atmosphere. That was the was most uh, unenthusiastic crowd I've ever been around. There were more Diamond fans yeah. there than – Katusa Indian fans, which is really odd. It was, it was, it was a nice stadium it like was that. But night. yeah, so it looks like we're about to get ready for the coin toss. So we're going to take oh, a quick good. break and we'll be right back here watching Southside Black Diamond football on Mix TV Channel 19. Go Black Diamond. Mix TV Channel 19, your local source for local news. Weekday evenings at 6 30 and 9 30. Join Holly and Justin as they bring you local news that matters to you. News stories happening around you. Sports news covering your local teams. Local news, local events. Local teams and local players. It's local news that matters to you. Weekday evenings at 6.30 and 9.30. Channel 19. We live here too. At Diamond Express, we offer quality fuel at a premium price. Ice cold beverages, snacks, and lottery tickets. But the great deals don't stop there. We are the perfect spot for a hot homemade breakfast, a full plate for only $2.99. On that busy lunch break, stop by and grab a meal from our deli. Choose from hamburgers, corn dogs, burritos, and our hand breaded chicken tenders. Our kickback rewards program is the perfect way to save you money on each purchase. Diamond Express, 712 South Kerr Boulevard in Salisaw. Ten games, 100 yards, hundreds of players, thousands of fans, countless snaps, blocks, and tackles. One goal. This is Black Diamond Football. Now, here's Justin Pettit and Dave Martin. And welcome back to Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. I should say the friendly confines at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. Always glad to be back home, Dave, as we're getting down to the coin toss. Who are the captains tonight for the Black Diamonds? All right, your captains tonight are number 11, Jordan Oliver. He's a senior. He plays quarterback, wide receiver, defensive back, does a lot of different things for the Diamonds. Number 7 is Chris Ortega. He's also a senior. Number 34, Cecil Odom. He's a senior. He plays, 
I've seen him play H. I've seen him play running <laughs> yeah. back. He's an excellent linebacker. And number one, Brad Bell, your quarterback and defensive back. So um, they're your seniors for tonight, and they are going to – we're going to see what happens here on the coin toss, Justin. Yeah, there's a. It's going to be a great crowd here tonight. It's a little warm, but uh, yeah. according to all the weathermen around here, this is supposed to be the last hot, muggy day of the year. I know that's I disappointing see. to you, but yes. not not to me. Yes, but it looks like Coach Bethel and his his uh, coaching staff are ready to go. we got the guys up here in the press box already. Right. And uh, you know that uh, – they're, they're obviously not happy with the way things worked out last week, and they're ready to come back and get back on the field. I bet that's one thing. That you, whenever you you lose a game, you're ready to get back out there and prove yourself that, that uh, you know, I mean, look you're, at, you're good. Look at the field tonight, Justin. Oh, who would want to play football? Yeah, yeah we were out here not. earlier, and a shout-out to the guys who did the field. I, I, don't, I didn't get their names, but we were here at like 10 or 11 getting ready, yep. and they were out here in the blistering sun. And they got the number. I mean, look at this place. It's beautiful, it's be especially the first time, first one of the year. That's you know, right. you got to measure the number. They had string out here, making sure the numbers <laughs> were right. So, you know, good on those guys. And the few, the field is beautiful. I hope everyone is ready to sit back and watch this game and uh, get your popcorn and order your some pizza or whatever it is you do. And, and thank you so much for always for tuning in. That's right, here on Mix 19. So uh, Stigler won the coin toss, but they deferred it to the Diamonds. The Diamonds, of course, are going to receive from the south end. And speaking of the south end zone, well, the Diamonds are jumping right now, and we are going to take it. Let's just take a look and watch, check out your Diamonds coming out here yeah. for the premiere at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium 2016. <laughs> Man, Dave, if that doesn't Whoa, get you excited, man. I don't know what will. Wow, I wasn't <laughs> expecting the uh, fire department down there with their uh, fireworks, I believe that was. But old Glory flying. That's just it's Friday night. It's time for some football here. And like we mentioned, this ought to be a very fast-paced game. Hopefully we can keep up. <laughs> uh, it, uh, might need some oxygen mask up here before, before all this is said and done. But nice to see the crowd out here. What an entrance to the Black Diamonds. See Stigler brought their helmet as well. But didn't get quite the, re the reaction that uh, – the Black Diamond faithful had, but it's going to be. Hey, I'm excited. No. I'm, I'm, I got my seatbelt on, man. I'm ready. To, I'm ready for this. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you don't have goosebumps after that, I mean, you <laughs> see the Black Man for the Diamonds, trying to get a number here on the Stigler kicker. Just. Yeah, the, the, the one guy out there, the kicker, his uh, uniform is wadded up. And we can't tell. It looks like it's uh, number 82, Kagan Doherty, with the kick. All right, looks like it's going to be fair caught by number 15. That looks like Caden Bailey is going to take it down about the 22-yard line, where your Black Diamonds will take over first down and 10 here on the first series. At home for the Diamonds. Taking a look at the starting offensive line there, looks like Jason Bartell, number 62, mm -hmm. number 54, Josh Wiley, number 72, Brandon Valdez, number 71, Jacob Brown, and number 82, Cody Cooper, I believe are your starting. And then see who else is there. Of course, Jordan Oliver, Brad Bell getting the start. Chris Ortega out here at wide receiver. Yes. And number 81, Aubrey Henshaw. I believe I got everybody on that. That's right. And Brody Nicholson. Number Brody Nicholson. Yep. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Cecil Odom, 34. There we go. I believe that's 34. So, okay. In the shotgun, you're going to have two wide receivers to the far side, one to the near. Bell's going to take it on the option keep. He's coming to the near side. He's got an opening. Nice move. That is good for almost 20 yards, Justin, on the first play from scrimmage. That's exactly what you want. He was tackled there by number four, Dawson Barger, who's one of their stars on offense. So obviously, they, much like Salisaw, they have a lot of guys that play both ways. That's right, and that's just what you want. Good job by the offensive line. You know, Bartell, Galvez, Valadez, all those guys. Brown doing a good job off the left side right off the bat. Diamonds are going to send in the play from the sideline. They're going to go straight out. There's going to be trips to the far side. That's three wide receivers to the far side. You'll see. you got to tie it in over here to the near side. Bell back in the backfield. He's your quarterback. He's going to give up the middle to K-Park. K-Park's got an opening. These Diamonds are playing real Black Diamond football. Smash mouth right off the bat, Justin. Yeah, tackle there by number 19, Garon Mayhaw, 5'11 junior, also a two-way player for Stigler. Exactly what the Black Diamonds wanted here. Over 33, about 32 yards on two carries between uh, Bell and K-Park there. That's a great way. Two first yes. downs right off the bat. Good job, K-Park. Good job, offensive line. And nice play call, too. So they're going to call it from the sideline. They're going to send it in by signal. Bell calls the, the play. <coughs> Excuse me. Two wide receivers to the far side, one to the near. Running back to the right of Bell. He's back in the shotgun. 
Bell takes a snap. He's going to keep it. He fakes it. He keeps it for himself. Uh-oh. He has a crease. Let's see. They're going to make the tackle. He's breaking tackles like crazy, Justin. What a great run and a great job by the offensive line. Yeah, taken down there by number 12, Ryan Bryant, all the way down to about the seven-yard line. Great Bell run there by Bell. Bell got to that second level. And that's what you Tough want. Tough to bring down. Yeah, that, that's what you want is the Black Diamonds here going to hurry up. Get the play call in. Up tempo. We knew this was going to yeah. be the recipe for tonight, but I don't think you could have asked for a better start if you're south. So. No, we're going to be first and goal from the seven-yard line. This is fun to watch. All right. Ortega is going to be your far wide receiver. He's going to play the X position. You're going to have the tight end to the right. Two running backs this time. And 23 to the near side. That's going to be Matt Fulbright. Oh, but we got a penalty. Might have been a formation issue. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, it looks like somebody jumped there on the offensive line. It happens. Yeah. Get a little excited, especially after three great running plays like that. Yeah. You're ready to knock somebody down. The adrenaline level is definitely up. All right, they're going to keep the same set. I believe they made us run the same play. We'll see. Or have the same call, excuse me. All right, so now it's first and goal from the 12. A little more room to work if you're an eternal optimist. 23 is in the backfield. Matt Fulbright, he's your running back. Bell's going to turn, give it to Fulbright. Fulbright over to the right side. He breaks a tackle, and he run over, ran over one, and he's good for about a yard or so there. It's going to be second down and goal from the 11. Got tackled by a host of Stigler Panthers there, including number 30, Andrew Moore, senior linebacker. Big dude. Six foot, 220. That's, hey. a, that's pretty big dude for, <laughs> yeah, for, sure. for, for high school you linebackers. Got they, got, they got some big – we were just talking that we were down the field earlier. Both of these teams passed the eye test. Yeah, big, sure. big old boys. Yep. This is a good matchup here. Of course, Sequoia and Haskell County's finest represented tonight. All right, looks like we got Henshaw as the near side receiver, but he's going to – Bell's going to fake it and keep it for himself. He broke two tackles down to the five. That's going to bring up third down and goal from about the five-yard line. A tackle no. by number two, Bryce Tarantine, the junior corner there. So he got to the second level, and he got to the original line of scrimmage here. He must have some strong legs because, I mean, he's breaking tackles. You know, you've got to wrap him up. Sure. Third down at five. 9.20 to go here in the first quarter. Diamonds driving. Your wide receivers, Ortega and Oliver on the far side, 81. Henshaw on the near side. Capehart back in at running back. Bell is going to take the snap. He's scrambling around. Oh, no, he threw it. He was trying to throw over the middle, and he was picked off by number two. Yeah, Bryce Tarantine for Stigler with the interception. A bad mistake there by the Black Diamonds down in the red zone. But early in the game, shake that one off. You had a great drive all the way down the field, and luckily you got Stigler pinned back inside their own red zone. And uh, here we go with Stigler. Their offense should be uh, just as quickly, but hopefully the Black Diamonds will be able to slow them down a little bit here yeah. as they take over, looks like, at their own 14-yard line. As good as Bell has looked, he's still new to the offense, new sure. to the system, so we're going to have to deal with a little bit of growing pains, but um, the guy can play, so let's just be patient with him. All right, now looks like Stigler's going to be in the shotgun. They're going to run that spread offense. Three wide receivers to the far side. He's going to swing it out to the left. That's number two again, same guy who just made the interception. He shook a tackle, and he's brought down. Who is that? Bell making the tackle after the first down was gained by Stigler. Yeah, Bryce Tarantine again with the reception. All right, 8.56. They're going to stop the clock. It's going to be second down. I thought he got the first down, but they called him out at about the seven-yard line. That's what stopped the – Yeah, that's what stopped it. So a six, second down and four here at the 21. All right, quarterback back in the shotgun. They're going to have a formation issue. That's going to help the Diamonds. Let's get the call. Legal procedure. Let's take a look. Yep. Illegal procedure. False start against the Panthers. It's going to push him back. Yeah, basically put him back in a second and nine here. But, uh, yeah, he stepped out of bounds earlier. He had some more room there on the sideline. So Definitely. Stigler, again, anytime you're mo moving around as fast as they are, you're, you're probably going to get a lot of procedure penalties. They do a lot of things. They do a lot of motion with the H. Um, they're going to bring him across. They're going to fake it to him. They're going to give it to him on a on an inside sweep. They're going to do all kinds of different things. So 8.55 to go here. Second down and nine. Ball's on the 16 of the Panthers. Panthers now in the four wide receiver set with the running back in the backfield. He's going to be in a shotgun. Quarterback takes a snap. He fake. He double fakes the, <laughs> the sweep, and he's going to throw it over the middle on a post route. Oh, tip drill. Oh, tip drill. Good job, Henshaw. 81. 
Nice play. Now he's gonna he's gonna get a block. I'm just gonna watch. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> Great interception there oh, by, by Henshaw. And like you said, sometimes you just gotta step back and watch, but tip drill it. In fact, it looks like they're gonna get a penalty here. Unfortunately, I think it may be oh, on no. the diamonds here for a little uh, unnecessary Passive. unnecessary roughness, but I could be hopefully I'm wrong on mm, that one. Might be a block in the back. We'll see. Yeah. I hope that it doesn't turn over the that it doesn't overturn the turnover. Okay, yeah. So Again, uh, that's a good way to come back as, as uh, Bell actually was in there on, on that one and uh, basically uh, helped to uh, make up for that mistake that he had throwing that interception there. But you're right about Brad Bell. you got a, a kid moving to a whole new sure. system, and he's just got to get it figured out. But look at the, the signs are there. The yeah. sparks are there. Yeah. I tell you, this whole Black Diamond offense is, is ready to explode. And, you know, on the ground they did that. So maybe They've, just stick to that. Yeah. Like Barry Switzer <laughs> said, only three things happen when you throw the ball and two of them are bad. Two of them are bad. That's right. <laughs> Looks like you're going to have trips wide uh, receivers to the near side here. Bell's going to be in the shotgun. Back there is that K part, I believe. Bell takes a snap. He's going to give up the middle. That's K part. Good for about four yards, maybe five, Justin. Yeah, taken down by a host of Panthers. Number 30, Andrew Moore there. The linebacker, the big linebacker again there with the stop. That's about his third tackle so far. But I like what the Diamonds are doing here, getting back onto the ground. All right. Looks like it's going to be second down and six for the Diamonds from about the 45-yard line. It's good to be in Panther territory. Wide receivers, you got Fulbright, Ortega, and Oliver to the near side. Kpart, he's in the backfield with Bell. Bell takes a snap. It's going to be a little bit of a bubble screen out to the left. That's Fulbright. 23 on the catch. Nice run. Yeah. Good job with the wide receivers getting out, getting that block, letting him get – I believe he's got the first down. Yes, he does. Num number 19, Garon Mayhill with the tackle. He's been all over the field as well. So, Stigler, you know, they're giving him that cushion. Yeah. Letting him get down to into the back level there, and South all taking advantage of it. And when you build that confidence with your quarterback and your wide receivers, you can just throw it out there. You can throw it. Pretty, it's a pretty simple throw unless, you have, unless you're not confident in it. All right, Bell gives up the middle. That's going to be K-Part. He cuts to the right. Nice run. Nice job by the Diamond offensive line. Looks like number 65, Alex Galvez, had a good block in there, along with 71, Jacob Brown, and 54, Wiley. Actually, all of the boys were yeah. doing pretty good. Number 43. Bartell always does a good job. Yeah, number 43, Colton Sweeten with the tackle for Stigler. Good Another deal. big big linebacker that they have there. It's cheer night here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium, so all the kids got all the kids got to go out and cheer before the game to cheer on your Black Diamonds. 7.15 to go here. Looks like it's going to be a give. No, he keeps it for himself. He fooled the announcer. Bell up the middle. It's going to be a touchdown. Black Diamonds. There you go, Dave. Just kept it. Read option. Kept it. Saw the hole. It was wide open. Yes. Only one guy got a hand on him, and yes. Brad Bell makes up for the interception. They threw oh, takes it right to the house. What a fantastic drive. Way to answer back. Get the interception. Shake off, shake off the early interception he threw, and with a perfect score there. That's Great awesome. Job. No, terrific. Now it's going to be Jimenez. Oscar Jimenez. Oliver, 11 is going to be your holder. Going to go for that extra point. Come on, Black Diamonds. It's good. 7 to 0 for your Black Diamonds over the Stigler Panthers here early. Take a look at the replay here check it out. with Bell. Go ahead. You're going to see about a 20, was a 27 yard run there, That's and right. he just fakes out. He Everyone, he, he, faked the, he faked the announcers <laughs> out. It looked like he handed it off to, I believe it was Glass there, but no, he was up the middle. One guy almost had a shot at him, number two there for Stigler. Bell just walks in and scores the touchdown. 7.04 to go here in the first quarter. Salisaw six, Stigler nothing. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mixed TV Channel 19. Welcome back, everybody, to Perry F. Lattimore Stadium for 2016 home opener for your Black Diamonds, where the Salisaw Black Diamonds are up 7-0 to zero here early in the first quarter. Uh, seven minutes to go. Justin, Dave Martin with JP from the morning mix here. Yeah, I believe I said 6 nothing. <laughs> they hadn't updated the scoreboard, so I was a little excited with the extra point there as uh, the Black Diamonds look to kick off here. All right, man, it's going to be good. Looks like number three, Oscar Jimenez, is going to be your kicker. He's going to kick off. Let's sit back and watch. It's going to be a short kick. Diamond's going to have a chance at it. Oh, but it tumbles out of bounds where the Stigler Panthers should take over with good field position. 
Yeah, a little illegal procedure penalty there, but yeah. the Stigler, we didn't mention this in the pregame, but Stigler return team, very, very good. I think they have three kickoffs already returned for touchdown, so oh. that may be a wise play yeah. to just and kick it out of bounds. And one, one, you know, if the, ba the ball bounces differently, salsa has got a chance at it. So, all right, first down and 10. Stigler Panthers are a good team. It's a good test here for the Diamonds. Seven oh four to go. No time ran off the clock there on that illegal procedure. So seven oh black diamonds. All te both teams have both all three of their timeouts. All right, quarterback takes a snap, gives up the middle. Uh oh, he's got a crease. Nice run by number twenty. But he's brought down by eleven. Jordan Oliver on the tackle, but not after a good Stigler gain. Yeah, Garrett Brooks, number twenty. We mentioned him over hundred yards in both games so far for Stigler. Yeah, they would definitely want to get him going on the ground as well. Definitely. Looks like 62 is going to come in for the Diamonds. Jason Bartell is going to play. He's going to come in and give Noah Davis a rest for a second. All right, your corner on the near side is 81, Aubrey Henshaw. Go ahead. I didn't mean to talk okay, over you. You're good. You're good. All right, quarterback's going to give on the sweep to the near side. Uh-oh, they broke outside contain, and he got that first down, Justin. Yeah, Brooks again, a little shake and bake there. Kind of fooled the linebacker for Salisaw. Yep. Got some moves for that little, that guy. I yeah. say little guy, he's you know no. he's probably bigger than I am, but yeah. hey, that's not saying much. Yeah, he got <laughs> he got outside that defensive end, but luckily Glass didn't let him take it to the house. So we'll see what happens here on first down from the 41 of the Diamonds. Sparkman's going to be in the shotgun again, going to run the same thing all night. Four wide receivers, two to either side with a running back in the backfield. He's going to fake up the middle. He's going to run that diamond play. Quarterback keeper up the middle, good for about six yards, Justin. Yeah, Spearman again right up the middle. Again, they're kind of running the same offense as Salisaw does, and it's, it's real familiar, so it's probably pretty easy to, to uh, prepare for. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think a lot of teams in the state are running this offense right now, except for last week. So, we're, But we've moved on from that. It's yes. just an interesting blurb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, second down and six from the 35. Stigler has the ball. Sparkman. Gives up the middle. That's going to be 20 again, where he's brought down by the Diamonds. Looks like three or four guys, including Wiley, was on the play. Yeah, Brooks again just right up the middle. Close to the first down. Not sure if he got it. Uh, I'll have to look and see the ref. Yep. is going to call for a measurement. You got a strong front three there. Yeah, both of these teams have big offensive line. Looks yep. like they're not going to give him the first down. It'll be third down. Okay, third and one. Sparkman back in the shotgun. Same set. Oh, now they're going to change the play, call an audible from the sideline. Coach sending it in. Sparkman gets the call. He's going to distribute it to the offense. Same set. Third and one. Uh oh, it's going to be a quarterback sweep to the left. You know, they got that. Mm, the left tackle made a good block, and, and there was no stopping for the one yard. Yeah, number 71, Sorry. Jacob Brown in on the tackle there. Spearman just runs a quarterback sweep to the left and gets the first down. All right. First down and 10. You knew Stigler was going to come in with a lot oh, of offense. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So we, what, we, 50 points a game. I mean, you don't get that just by luck. No. No, they're a sound offense, so we expect to see some yards from them. It's going to be a shootout tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, number four is in motion coming across. There's that sweep on the inside. Four brought down after about three or four yards. Stigler had a good push, and they got outside the tackle box, and nice play for the Panthers. Yeah, number four, Dawson Barger with the run. Tackled there by number 34, Cecil Odom, the senior for okay. Salisaw. One of a few Black Diamonds in them. They, that's one thing about the Black Diamonds. They're always there. Yeah. No, they're they, always there. They play a good swarming defense, and, um, you know, they may have got four or five yards, but as long as they don't break contain, keep them inside. All right, second down at about five or six for the Diamonds from the 20. Sparkman gives up the middle again. Same play as a while ago. But he's brought down by number 36. Clay Glass there on the tackle. Nice play. Number 20 again for Stigler. He's their workhorse, Garrett Brooks. Garrett you Brooks. mentioned well over 100 yards in both of their first two games. So looks they, like looks like Brooks, Barger, and Spearman are their three go-to guys. That's right. Uh, we expected that, and they all play both ways, too. Yep. All right, spread formation, Sparkman. 19 coming across, but Brooks back up the middle. Little misdirection play, almost like a counter. Tackled there by number one, Brad Bell. Yeah, that was a little misdirection, but like I said, right up the middle, that mm -hmm. offensive line for Stigler getting some big holes early. I mean, they put up 100 in two weeks, so they're going to know how to move the football. But the Diamonds are staying strong. Got the lead, first and 10, defending the – Let's see here, at the 13-yard line, excuse me. Inside the red zone here. Chris Rison here, we got his team ready to go. Definitely Sparkman back in the shotgun. He's going to give up the middle to Brooks again. 
Looks like 34 was on that play, Justin. Yeah, tackle there. <laughs> Cecil. Cecil Odom with the tackle there. All right, 71's going to come out and get a break. That's Jacob Brown. Nice crowd here tonight. Yeah, it's a nice night for football. It Definitely. is that. Now that the sun is down. Yeah. <laughs> had, it, had some threat for some rain. Luckily, that stayed away. I don't know. Are we lucky that it stayed away? Yes. A little mud, little mud bowl? No, nobody. <laughs> no, the field looks too good. <laughs> Let's take care of the field. <laughs> Uh oh, Spartman's gonna he's gonna throw, but he's brought down in the backfield by Chris Ortega. A big sack for your Black Diamonds. Yes, there it was. The blitz finally got to Spearman. Took way too much time. It was a timing route, and the guy was not ready, so he just had to eat the football on that one. Great play by the Black Diamonds and Ortega. Yeah, third and long is a lot better than second and set or third and seven. So yes. all right, third and eighteen. Nice play for the Black Diamonds. I wonder why they both these guys are huddled down so you don't know which one is sending in the signal. Over I was the trying to, I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. Mine All right. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I was thinking the same thing. All right, Sparkman back in the shotgun. He's got trips. Looks like they went a little bit early. Indeed they did. That's going to be a five-yard penalty against the Panthers. Good on them. Yeah, so a sack of about 11-yard loss and then a five-yard penalty. That's exactly what you want if you're the Black Diamond pushing back. And if you can continue, you keep keep up the bend, don't break defense right. when you're this close to the end zone. That's exactly what you want to do. That's right. It's going to bring up third down and 21. The ball's going to be on the 23-yard line. So the two-yard line is the line to gain. But hopefully, let's see what happens right here. Sparkman back to pass. He's going to he's going to be chasing the backfield. Uh oh, he, can he turn his shoulders? Oh, good job for the Black Diamonds. Another sack. Brody Nicholson with the sack. Kay Clay Glass with the initial pursuit. Sweet. That's exactly what you want if you're the Black Diamonds. Now you force them into, I don't know if they're going to try a field goal here or not. They better have a pretty good kicker if they do. I mean, fourth down and 21. From the 23, yeah, that would be about a 40-yard uh, field goal attempt. I guess they say they might as well go for it yeah. at this point and see what they can get, at least push the Diamonds back. But All right, so the Diamonds are going to play a prevent defense most likely. Let's sit and watch for one second here. Fourth down and 24. Ball's on the 26. Trips wide receivers to the near side. Two to the far side. That's a lot of wide receivers, Justin. All right, Sparkman back to pass. He's, he's looking downfield. He's looking. He's got a go route. But the diamond defense is there. Nice play. Broken up by 11. Yeah, Jordan Oliver with a break up there. So good way to go there for the Black Diamonds. And as we are about to... Step aside here, a minute 23 to go. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV, Channel 19. All right, back to live action. That was your first down play. Bell with the quarterback sneak to the right side here at Perry of Lattimore Stadium. Dave Martin, JP, right here in the press box with approaching one minute to go here in the first quarter, 7-0. to zero. Stigler was driving just a second ago, Justin, but the Diamonds held strong, took it away on downs. A couple of, couple of big sacks, and then uh, Stigler did, uh, did their own damage with a false start penalty, so that's exactly what you need. That's right, and your Diamonds are going to spread the offense out. They've got a tight end to the far side, trips to the near side. Bell back in the shotgun, gives up the middle to Kpart. Kpart breaks it to the near side. He's got a lane. Looks like he's nice downfield block about 81. Kpart making it look easy. He runs tall. He runs strong. I like to see that. That's, that's a great run by 27. He, he yeah. was helped out by uh, 81 Henshaw. A great play by the Diamonds. Yeah, tackle by number 12, Ryan Bryant there. That's the way you want to do it right there. High that's stepping. Awesome. Runs, like you said, he runs up tall like an Adrian Peterson type back. Doesn't doesn't crouch. And no. Gail no. Sayers, another guy <laughs> that, that ran. He like was that. running tall and strong. Kept that ball high. Tucked away. Nice play. All right, first down and 10. Ball's on the 29-yard line. 7-0. to zero. Your Black Diamonds driving. Here with 30 seconds, 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. Spread offense. Bell's going to run the option. He pitches it to 34. He's going to make a break for it. Oh, no, but there's a penalty flag on the play. Looks like he pitched it to Odom. He had a nice run, but we might have a holding call on this yeah, one, Yeah, great run by Odom there, but like I said, it's going to be probably brought back by a holding call. But nevertheless, like they – like. Some of my old buddies that played offensive line said they could call holding on every play. It's just a matter of when they call it. <laughs> it happens a lot out there. It just depends upon how egregious. <laughs> All right, first down. It's going to be first down again. A little bit further to go this time. This quarter has went by a lot quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, it went you know, by usually fast. when you have two 
high fast offenses like that. Yep. The ball hadn't been in the air quite that's a, a, that's quite as point. much as I expected it to be. Yeah. You know they've got that spread offense, but they're playing a little bit. Stigler, it's got a, they're playing conservatively in diamonds. They're playing di black diamond football. They may be spread out, but they're going to go to that running back first. So here we go, seven to zero, first down, eleven to go. Bell back in the shotgun. He's going to keep it for himself. Oh no, the ball's on the ground. Oh no, Stigler takes it away with the fumble recovery, Justin. Yeah, it looks like number 11, Thomas Huggins, was right there to jump on the ball for Stigler. That's Thomas may have got it back. You want to say, hey, a little extracurricular activity there after the game. Oh no, let's go see what happens. See, uh -oh. looks like they're going to, they haven't got a signal. Now they're going to keep it with the Buck Diamond, so uh -oh. it looks like Bell got that ball back in that dog pile. Uh -huh. <laughs> Again, <goodness>. tails <laughs> from the dog pile. That could be a book. That's right. There's no telling what goes down in there. So the diamonds so catch Bell. a break, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that one, I, had to, I was speechless there for a second trying to see what was <laughs> happening, Justin. It was a big play. It's going to be first, uh, second down and nine, but that might be the end of the quarter. Yeah, they're going to stop, kind of collect themselves, and that will take us to the end of the first quarter. Diamonds retain possession. Going to be second down when we come back here right here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium in Salisaw, Oklahoma. And we're back here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium in Salisaw where your diamonds are up 7-0 to zero here on Mix Channel 19, also 819 on HD. Yeah. And it's going to be second down for the Black Diamonds. We are going the other direction, heading south this time, into the wind just a little bit, but not enough to matter. Towards the hospital. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sequoia Memorial, where I work. <laughs> All right, second down and nine. Ball's on the 28. Two, wide, two running backs in the backfield. They're going to make a w make way for Bell, but Bell puts it he on the ground again. again. Yeah, I think Stigler jumped on it this time. Nope, he, he was able to recover his own fumble again. Oh, All right, it's going to be third down. Salas all having a little bit of ball security issues here, you know, at this point in the game, but yep. he's got to just take his – that's, that's, that's the risk that comes with having a yeah, running quarterback. Yeah, anytime you have a run option like that, number, give a shout-out to number 30, uh, Andrew Moore with the tackle there. He's the big linebacker. We're going to call his name a lot. But yeah. you're right, Salisaw, back-to-back plays here. Very fortunate to get the ball back. Yep. I mean, if you've got a running quarterback, you know that they're going to they're gonna go after him. So Bell still doing a good job. He did a good job to get the ball back. Third down. Bell is going to give up the middle to Kapor. Kapor shuffles his feet a little bit. He broke two or three tackles. Still going. They're having a hard time bringing that boy down, Justin. <laughs> they are. Tackled there by number 60, Hayden Berry. About the fifth guy to get their hands on him. Let's see where they mark him at if he's got the first down here. Looks like he's right at the marker. Let's Dave. see what they do, Justin. I'm going to bring the sticks out. All right. Let's check it out. Bringing the sticks out. Again, a hard run there by Kpart. I'm telling you what. The way that kid runs upright, like you said, is uh, not traditional, no, but it works. Again, no. Adrian Peterson, Gail Sayers, guys like that run up right because he's a, a much bigger back. back you got to be strong to do that, Justin. You've got to be oh, super yeah. strong. Not a lot of people can do it. Break four or five tackles on a play. I've done a lot of jobs yeah. in football and broadcasting. I've never been on the chain game. <laughs> oh, yeah? It may be something I have to do. Someday. Oh, it's fun. Back in uh, <laughs> when we were in high school, if you weren't playing on if you were <laughs> on eighth and ninth grade nights, oh, first down Black Diamonds. Good job. You had to go and work the chain game, so it would be a rotation. And uh, it was okay. serious over there. Yeah, it's fun. Notice how the chains are always on the opposite side of the field when you got to measure. Hey, That's the way it, it always works out, I think. <laughs> the coaches of the opposite team are always like, get back, get back. <laughs> it was the whole thing. <laughs> here we go. Great drive here going by the Diamonds. All right, first down and 10. Ball's on the 19-yard line. Diamonds up 7-0. to zero. It's going to be three wide receivers to the far side. You're going to have Henshaw, Ortega, and Oliver to the far side. 24 is your tight end to the near side. That's Brody Nicholson. And you got Odom in the backfield with Bell. Your lineman, you got Bartell. You got all the big boys. Galvez, Valdez, Brown, and Wiley. All right, it's going to be a slant. No, it's going to be a little bit of a hitch route. All right, that was only first down. Yeah, pass is incomplete intended for number seven, Ortega. A little low there for Bell. Yep. We had a great great view of that from our angle here at the press box. That's and right. He, he was open, but it's a tight throw in there. Yep. And thanks to the Booster Club for our programs tonight, Justin. Yes, absolutely, for bringing those. And, and uh, our, we're already at one step ahead than we were last week. Huh? Yeah, we were doing really good. <laughs> we, got, we got information. <laughs> we got rosters. Okay, two wide receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Bell takes the snap. He fakes it up the middle. He's going to keep it for himself. It's going to be a busted play. Holds on to the football. Good for about two yards. Going to bring up third down and eight deep in yeah, Stigler territory. Number 30, Andrew Moore again, and number 60, Hayden Berry with the tackle. 
Got to get that ball tucked away, Dave. He's running that ball with one hand, and yeah, I, know. I, I don't really like that. But <laughs> again, that's his style, man. If you're gonna is, yeah. if you're gonna take the forty yard burst, you're gonna have to. Have, that's that's just like natural for him. So I get it. Risk reward, right? That's that's true. That's <laughs> true. I mean, I'm not apologizing for anybody. I hope he <laughs> protects it, but I understand that if you're fast, you just go. All right, third down and seven from the 16. Diamonds driving. Trips wide receivers to the far side. He's going to throw. It's a little another little bubble screen. That's Ortega over to the right side. Nice blocks. Nice play for York Black Diamonds. Back up on number 12, Ryan Bryant. Number two, Bryce Tarantine. Looks like he's got enough. Let's see. For the first. And, oh, yeah. He gets all the way down to the six-yard line. It'll be first and goal, Salsa. All right, clock stops with 10 to go here in the second quarter. Beautiful night for football here in Salisaw. Here on Mix TV Channel 19. Yep. Second game of the season for the Black Diamonds. Stigler Panthers came to town across the Arkansas River from Haskell County, and we've got a game on our hands. All right, looks like we've got. All right, jumbo set for the Diamonds. Bell's going to keep it for himself. Broke two tackles. He Did he get it? In. He got Touchdown, it. Touchdown, Black Diamonds. That is just powering your way <laughs> to the goal line, Dave. Would not be denied. I wasn't looked sure. Like, looked like another bell we used to see in Oklahoma. <laughs> Blake Bell, the bell dozer. <laughs> right just absolutely, he like said, jumbo formation, off right tackle, boom, right in, touchdown. His second of the night. Nice exactly play for what Bell. You need. The offense is rolling tonight for Blake Knight. That's right. That makes it 13 to 0. Here comes Jimenez. Oliver on to hold. It's good. 14 to 0, Salisaw Black Diamonds up on the Stigler Panthers with 9.36 to go. We're going to take a quick break. Oh, no, we're going to go to the instant replay. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, for the replay first here. Up. There we go. You'll see Bell here just power his way in yeah, off right tackle. People dragging all over him. Look just at the push you got there. You got 62 with a big push. That's Bartell. Also, Odom making a way for Bell. And that makes it 14 to 0. All right, we're going to step aside here. 9.36 to go. It's Salisaw 14, Stigler nothing. Here on Mix TV, Channel 19. And we are back here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium where your Salisaw Black Diamonds are up 14-0 over the Stigler Panthers here early in the second quarter. 9.36 to go. Dave Martin with JP from the morning mix right here on Channel 19, Mix TV. Yeah, this is exactly what Salisaw needed. Uh, two, actually three really good drives. They had the interception in sure. the end zone, but they have marched down the field. Stigler has had no answer nope. for the Diamonds on defense. No, and they'd be 21-0 if it wasn't for, some turnover, for the one turnover, but that's all right. High risk, high reward. Here we go, 14-0. Jimenez on to kick. He kicks it high and to the near side. It's going to be fair caught at the 40-yard line. Where Looks like a number 30, Andrew Moore, the big linebacker. I, yep. I, I guess he fair caught that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of you a, can get penalized for that. If yeah. You, if you, <laughs> but that's okay. I think he only took a look a little bit. He might have been surprised to catch it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would be. I didn't like catching um, onside kicks and things of that nature. Right. I can imagine, <laughs> yeah. That's why I stayed up in the stands. <laughs> they had me on the hands team, and I was like, oh, no. I think I only had to get it once. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, first down and 10 from the 40-yard line. Panthers back in the shotgun. Trips wide receivers to the far side, one to the near. Sparkman gives – no, he fakes to Brooks. He's looking deep over the middle. Nice play by Ortega. Picked off. There goes Ortega. Let's see what he does. He's down to the 40, the 35. Now to the 30. Cuts back. Down to the 29-yard line. Turnover. Nice Great. play, Black Diamonds. Great play there by Ortega. Red, the quarterback size a mile away, and the quarterback Spearman was the one who actually got the tackle there. Yeah. He was trying Take to throw a, a little bit of a tight end. On the replay here. A little bit of a dump play. Get, yeah, well, you just dump it over the middle. But Ortega drops back into coverage. You see him there. And he sneaks back over. No, it wasn't really. It was a curl route. That's what he was trying to run to number two. But Ortega, sneaky linebacker, took it away. Try to take it to the house. Uh, he almost got it. If he had a big one guy on the inside there, the quarterback, like I said, actually threw the interception, had to make the tackle. So, man, everything going the diamond's way right now, Dave. It's awesome, man. All right, now they've got 15 comes into the game. That's Caden Bailey. I think he brought the play in. All right, so you got Bell and Capehart back in the backfield. Your heavy hitters from the rushing standpoint. It's going to be a rollout pass. He's going to keep for himself. It looks like he's going to try to cut across the grain. No, he jukes one guy, breaks another tackle, and touchdown, Black Diamond. There we go, Dave. Man, oh, man, Brad Bell, his third touchdown of the first half. 
That was going to be a pass play. Definitely. He, that was going to be a pass play, but he just said, nope, nah, nobody's open. I think I'll just run it yeah, in. Yeah, I thought he was going to cut across the, the green and go to the far side, but he juked me. He juked the defender. <laughs> Took it to the house, man. All right, that makes it 20-0. to zero. Jimenez on to kick. Can't wait to check out that instant replay, but not until after this extra point. Let's see what happens. Oliver on to hold. It's good. 21-0. Here's our instant replay. Let's check out that Black Diamond touchdown. If it looks like you saw it before, well, it's because it's Brad Bell taking it to the house again That's for right. the third time tonight. High reward. This time, like you said, looked like it was going to be a pass play. Great. Look at the blocking by the offensive yeah. line there. Yep. All those guys. And then out front, number 15. Yeah, Bailey. Caden <laughs> Bailey with the – and then 81 Henshaw downfield with the great blocks. That's what you need right there. Bailey took out two guys by himself. 21 to nothing here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. The Black Diamonds lead. You're watching Southside Black Diamond Football on Mix TV Channel 19. And we are back here, 9.13 to go here in the first half. 21 to 0, your Black Diamonds. Uh, Dave Martin with JP. Live from Perry F. Lattimore Stadium where Jimenez is on to kick for the Diamonds. Both teams have all their timeouts, second quarter. Oh, Man, it's gonna go ahead and kick it deep this time. Let's see what happens. Return man takes it at about the five. Nice kick and nice coverage by the Diamonds. Good to see that coverage out there. We're gonna need that all year long, Justin. Hopefully yeah. we put up a lot of points. Hopefully we're kicking off a lot, so. Number 33, Mark Crawford with the stop there. Nice. Of number two, Bryce Tarantine. I hope I'm pronouncing that young man's name right. right. That's the way it's spelled. So yeah. generally, if I don't know, I go with the way it's spelled. So Phonetics. Phonetics, indeed. Yep. Nice job by Crawford, number 33. is a sophomore. Special teams, kickoff team, things like that. That's a good place to get some time. Absolutely. Get some snaps underneath your belt, Justin. So Absolutely. Good it says the, the guy who never played. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's true. <laughs> you don't have to play to be a Black Diamond fan, man. You just got to love it. All right, Sparkman, back to pass, throws the bubble. Uh-oh, four breaks a tackle. The Diamonds did not break down. Got a little bit soft right there. And looks like Oliver's going to try to catch him, makes him cut back. Oh, the ball's on the ground. The big man comes up and <laughs> covers it. I think that's a tight end. Yep, tight end number Making six, play. Kelby Self with that. Uh, number four, Dawson Barger with a great run down the field. Uh, just a busted coverage there by the Black Diamonds. I yeah. think Stigler actually saw that and changed the play at the line. So big yeah. run. Well, he got him on an island out there. And... Uh, he shook one guy, and there was nobody else to help. Oliver luckily had the wheels to catch up with him. Yeah, Tried to force a turnover down the field, but just glad they didn't score a touchdown. That's all right. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Panthers from the 34-yard line into Diamond Territory. 8.55 to go here. Sparkman. He's going to give up the middle to Brooks. Brooks tries to break it out to the outside. Looks like Glass was on the play. Nice tackle in the open field by Clay Glass, 36. Yeah, great instincts there by, by Glass. It was about a 47-yard pickup there on that little bubble screen by Stigler. Those plays aren't designed to go 47 yards. No. But it's good for the other team. I mean, it's good when they do if you're, on the off, if you're on the offensive side, but not for the Diamonds on that particular play. So second down and eight from the 32. Stigler driving here into Diamond territory. Sparkman's going to run the option. Here comes the end. Oh, no, he drew both of them and pitched it out to Brooks. Man, that's a nice option play. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to do it if you're Stigler. Great run there by Brooks. Tackled by number 11, Jordan Oliver, mm. who is a safety. You yeah. don't want your safety making tackles on running plays. No, what happened was Sparkman just ran out there. It was a little bit of a speed option. He drew two defenders, and as soon as he drew two defenders, he pitched it perfectly out, and there was nobody on Brooks. That's exactly what you want if you're running the option. That's right. All right, come on, Diamonds. Let's see what happens here. First down and 10. Diamonds. Oh, it's going to be that counter play. Looks like Brooks up the middle. It's going to be down to about the one yard line. 7.57 to go, and the Panthers are driving. We knew they were going to put up some points oh, yeah. or going to put up some yards. Hopefully, we stop them right here, Justin. Yeah, it looks like Brad Bell and Aubrey Henshaw on the tackle there, stopping a touchdown because you never know. A fumbled snap, a baffled snap, oh, yeah. anything can happen. They're, running, they're going to run the shotgun, most likely. We'll see. That in and of itself could be dangerous. Right. <laughs> All right, so they're going to have uh, two wide receivers to the near side, one to the far, one running back in the backfield with Sparkman. That's Brooks back there. He's going to give it to Brooks right off the middle. Nope, he keeps it for himself. Looks like we stopped him, Justin. Nope, it's a touchdown. Oh, there's the signal. Yeah, Spearman looks like he snuck it in there off the right side. Touchdown, Stigler. The Black Diamonds put up a valiant effort, but 
That little fake there just kind of drew some defenders to the mm -hmm. left side. And uh, we knew Stigler was going to bring some points. Yeah. We, oh, no. Was still 21-6 still late here for the Black Diamonds. And the odds of a shutout in this game were very, very low for either team. So 21-6. to six. They're going to go for two here, Justin. Spread offense. Looks like they're going to have five wide receivers. Nobody in the backfield. Ten seconds to go on the play clock. Going to go for two. Sparkman back in the shotgun. Oh, straight drop back. He's going to throw it out into the flats where it is caught, and two-point conversion is converted. Yeah, con connected to number two, Bryce Tarantine there. So 7.32 to go here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. at Salisaw, 21, Stigler, 8. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mixed TV, Channel 19. And we are back here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium where the Diamonds are going to take the kick. It's going to be a short kick. He's going to return it, though. If he got past that first line, he might have been gone. <laughs> Yeah, anytime you, you, you short kick like that, it doesn't right. really give your guys a chance to get their footing and kind of see where they are, but that's where the Diamonds are going to take over. Yep. That's great field position, and the way they've been on offense, this could be a short drive, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Caden Bailey with the sure hands there um, on the short kick, so it gives the Diamonds good field position out on the 42-yard line, first down and 10. 21-8. to eight. Let there be light in the press box. <laughs> I can see my notes now. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, so 21 to 8, 728 to go here. First down, give up the middle. That's going to be K Park. Shakes a tackle, shakes two, but he's brought down by a couple of different Stigler Panthers. Yeah, it looks like number 23, Kenneth Van Tassel. Number 18, Carson Gray with the tackle there, K Park, but not before he got about three or four yards. All right. It's 21 to 8 after Panthers converted that two point conversion. Did he say that? After yes. Converted. It. Converted. Oh, they needed a mop over there. I'm sorry. Is it good with you? Yeah, we'll deal with it. Okay. Second down and seven from the 44-yard line. Second quarter. Bell is going to run the option. Drew, the defender, pitches it out to K Park. Going to be a flag on the field. Might be a holding. Might be a block in the back. We'll see what happens, Justin. Yeah, taking down by number 19, Garon Mayhall. But it looks like it may be coming back for the hold there. All right. But, yep, holding it is. All right, holding against the Diamonds. Coach is going to talk to the headlines and see what's going on. Hopefully he can make that correction, Justin. Yeah, that's a second holding penalty on the Black Diamonds tonight. Yeah, Coach Bethel is not thrilled. As he shouldn't be. They'll work it out. They'll work it out. But Definitely. Not much to complain about here in the first half, though. No. We're going to have some Black Diamond trivia later, some oh Black yeah. Diamond history. It's going to be good here at from Perry F. Lattimore. Nice field. Check it out. Look at the color of that. Yeah, They did a good job. I would love to tell you the color of it, but I can't. Sorry, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell you. Is <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. It looks pretty. <laughs> Trips to the near side. Got a tight end to the far side. Bell back in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Looks like it's going to be a screen play. Over 23, a little bit high. He tried to get the ball out to full bright. But the ball was a little bit high on that screenplay. Yeah, great way of disguising that by Bell. The guy was there, just a little bit of a short pass there all over his head, like you said. That's right. Maybe, uh, like I said, I've never been in that situation, but anytime you got big old boys like that coming at you, yeah. you might get the, the shaky feet. Could be. Yeah, over the middle. <laughs> Your footsteps? <laughs> Definitely. But, no, the ball was a little bit too high because the defender got their hands up, forced the quarterback to adjust his throw. So it was more of a good defensive play. It wasn't a bad offensive play. Good defensive play by the Stigler Panthers. All right, third down and 18, ball on the 34-yard line. Three wide receivers going to be a rollout pass. Going to throw an out route to Ortega, but he overthrew it a little bit too far outside. Yeah, I don't think it would have been enough there for the first down anyway. So no harm, no foul there by Mr. Brad Bell brings up fourth and 18. The holding penalty really hurt him. It's going to be our first time to see the punt team tonight, Justin. Looks like number two for Stigler, Bryce Tarantine. Yep. Mr. Do-It-All will be back to receive. And Jimenez is going to do the duties for the Diamonds as the punter. 21 to 8 here. 6.23 to go in the first half. Diamonds playing really good football. Hoping to pin the Panthers back. Jimenez, left-footed. Nice, high, spiraling. That's better than I can throw a spiral. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. Made a good tackle. Who was that? Looks like Clay Glass. Is nice. it Clay? No, sorry, number 34. Cecil, Cecil Odom. Odom with the tackle there. Okay, nice play. 6.13 to go here in the second quarter. Southside 21, Stigler 8. You're watching Black Diamond Football, Mixed TV, Channel 19. And we are back, and the Panthers just picked up a first down here with 6.07 to go in the first quarter, second quarter, first half. 
Uh, Dave Martin and JP. Justin Pettit here live from Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Panthers from the 48-yard line, Justin. Yeah, Brooks with another strong run there that just did a sweep to the left. If you're if you're Salisaw, you really need a defensive stop here. You don't want to get these guys back in the game, not have any confidence because yeah. they're going to receive the second-half kickoff as well. That's right. Yeah, Salisaw got the ball first. So first down and 10 for the Panthers. A lot of wide receivers out there. 19 coming across the middle. They're going to give it to him on the inside sweep. He cuts up the middle. Looks like he's finally brought down, but not after a gain of about six or seven yards. Nice play for the Panthers. Yeah, Mayhall with the, the sweep there. Yep. Josh Wiley, number 54, one of a few diamonds in on the stop. Definitely. Got about, looks like about seven yards there yeah. on the first down. Oh, man. Second down and two. Second down and three. Somewhere in there at the 45-yard line into diamond territory. Spread offense. Sparkman back in the shotgun. Gives it to Brooks. Brooks brought down quickly by Odom. Who else is in there? Yeah, he's having himself a game tonight. And really good football. That's right. Senior, linebacker, running back. He's done it all. Yep, he's playing really good football. Identifies the play early. Breaks down. Gets his pads underneath him. Make the tackle. Third down and three at the 45. No gain. Hmm. Let's see here. Four wide receivers. You'll see they got the tight end. He's kind of off the line a little bit. He didn't go in a down position. It's going to be a quarterback sweep to the near side. Diamonds. He broke. Outside contained a little bit. Had a, let's see, what is that? Good for the first down, maybe five or six yards. First down and ten for the Panthers. You know, Bailey and Glass there teamed up for the tackle, but you're right, just right off the left side. Nothing fancy about it. First down, Stigler. 441 here to go in the half. Stigler starting to get some rhythm, starting to get a little bit of momentum on their side. Diamonds looking for a big play from their defense right here. 434 to go here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. The wind has died down. Looks like a South is going to take a timeout. Yeah, first they're gonna, one. They're going to take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well. Step aside. It's 21 8, Southall. 429 to go here in the first half. Dave Martin with JP here on Mix Channel 19 where the Diamonds lead 21 to zero over the visiting Haskell County Stigler Panthers. Yeah, Southall really needs, like I said, we need a defensive stand here and they need a turnover. This is turnover time. That's right. Turnover will go a long oh, the, way. Yeah, the Diamonds are definitely looking for a big play from the defense. Turnover or a sack, that's what I'm looking for here. Ball's on the 38 yard line. Stigler playing with some rhythm right now. The Diamonds called that timeout, hopefully to stop that rhythm. We'll see if it worked. First down. And, oh, no, looks like Sparkman with the quarterback keeper. Nice fake. He, he faked it to, to Brooks. Everyone bid on it, and sure enough, Sparkman took it up the middle. Yeah, your quarterbacks, 11, Jordan Oliver, and number one, Brad Bell, both on there on the stop, or he would have been in the end zone right now dancing. Okay, it's going to bring up first down and 10 from the 24. Stigler, dangerous team. Spread offense. Wide receivers everywhere, but the quarterback, Sparkman's going to keep it for himself. Nice play by Bell. Knocked him down, but not after, not until after five or six yards. So good play for the Panthers. Nice tackle, but he got out there quickly, Justin. His receivers are doing a great job of yeah. blocking for him downfield, just like Southall's receivers have been as well. That's Pinch right. on those guys, but the Stigler guys doing the same thing. Two offenses, Dave, that when they get going, they're hard to stop. That's right, 3.50 to go here. Uh, going to give up the middle. Nice play. Who was that? 32. Looks like number... 92 Noah Davis Sorry. with the 92 with the with he the, just moved like a guy with a 32. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. moved. He's a big boy too. Yeah. He was moving fast. I just saw the two and a flash. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. All right, looks like we've got third down and two. Oh, he broke a tackle. Brooks is a runner now. Yeah, got like the first down, Justin. Number 62. I believe that is bar, excuse me, number 52. Yep. In there with the stop for the Black Diamonds. That is Michael Lemons. Yep, sophomore getting some time in there. 3.16 to go. First down and 10. Second quarter. Diamonds 21, Panthers 8. See, so load him out there. He's looking to make another play. He's been all over the field. Look at all these wide receivers. Five wide receivers. Nobody in the backfield with Sparkman. It's either going to be a quarterback sweep or it's going to give you a gift the middle to Brooks on a sweep. Nice play by – oh, can they get him down? And they do. 
Number nice play for the Diamonds. Number 24, Brody Nicholson, the first black diamond there. Glass was there. The Bell came in to clean it up. 2.44 as the clock rolls down towards halftime. 21 to 8. Let's see here. They are going to send in the play for Stigler. Let's see what happens. Second. Ball's on the 11-yard line. Sorry, Justin, yes. go ahead. Second and long is where you want him at here. This is the time when it's good just to sit back and watch. High drama. Second and nine. Ball's on the 11. Back to pass. It's going to be a screen route. Oh, deep. Oh, no. Oh, it's a touchdown for the Panthers. Yeah, number 19, Garon Mayhill caught the screen. And like we said, that screen was not meant to be a big yardage uh, play, but there it was for him. And Stigler right back in this game, Dave, 21-14. I, I thought the defensive end was going to knock it down. He got his hand up, but the quarterback somehow snuck it in by him. And the little screen route worked for the Panthers. They're going to go for two again, I believe. And running that Oregon style of uh, quick. extra points. It is a quick offense back here on Mix Channel 19. Mix TV. All right, and they're going to keep it for the quarterback, and the quarterback is going to take it. Two-point conversion is good. So, like we said, we're going to have a shootout tonight, Justin. 21-16, to 16, Diamond still up. 2-10 to go in the half, and we are going to take it to a commercial break. All right, everybody, back here live at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. 2-10 to go here on cheer night in Salisaw as the Diamonds are up. The Black Diamonds are up 21 to 16. Diamonds gonna have two minutes to get down the field and hopefully put up some more points on the board. It's always cheer not at my house <laughs> when the Diamonds are playing. That's right, I do love those Black Diamonds. So, um, But yeah, big shout out to all those <laughs> all those little cheerleaders that are out there. Yeah, good participation. And all the parents, as a parent, there's a lot of work goes into that. <laughs> there's a lot to it. <laughs> there's a lot to it. <laughs> all right, 210 to go here. Five point ball game. They're going to kick it deep. Let's see what happens. Who is that? K Park, 27. No, let's see here. Yeah, 27. Nice return for Hunter K Park. That's how you want to start your two minute offense with good field position. So the Diamonds have the ball with a five point lead and two minutes to go. That's plenty go of time. Go down and get a field goal. Go down and get something. Let's That's go do it. Plenty of time to go, get it, go down and get a touchdown. Yep, right here on Mix TV, Channel 19. Diamond Net, also check us out on the Facebook page and go to kxmx.com. We'll have some stats here at halftime. We're going to work on our trivia stuff. Justin's going to see if he can try to stump me. Probably will. All right, trips, wide receivers to the far side, one to the near. Let's see what happens here with two minutes and four seconds to go. Speed option play. Nice run by Bell, good for four or five yards. I think Stigler was thinking that he's probably going to throw it, but they ran the speed option to the near side. Yeah, no pitch, quarterback keeper. Yeah, number three, uh, Nate Bryant with the tackle there. All right. Quick update, a Prairie Grove leading Vianne 14-7 oh. in the second quarter. We'll go over those games, more of our local cool. games at halftime. All right. Uh, I saw the Prairie Grove, uh, let's see, bus and the oh, coach's yeah. truck come through town in South Hall today heading to Vianne. That's no joke. They're no joke, let me tell you. No, That's a good, good team heading in Vianne right now. All right, trips wide receivers to the far side. Bell is going to give up the middle to K-Part. K-Part's got a crease. K-Part runs strong. Gang tackled there by several Stigler Panthers, including number 18, Carson yep. Gray, and number 12, Ryan Bryant. But you're right, the That's offensive right. line yep. doing some great blocking there. Number 54, Josh Wiley That's leading right. them downfield. 71, Jacob Brown. Some good kick blocks there. Yep, 62, Bartell doing a good job up front. Galavez and Valadez, both those fellas doing a good job. So... Second down and 10 from the 41. Diamonds have one minute and four seconds to go as the clock continues to roll. Bell is going to give. No, he's going to keep it for himself. He jumps over one guy. He's out to the 40-yard line, 35-30, 25-20, down to the 15-yard, 14. Nice play by Brad Bell. Good job, Black Diamonds. Yeah, tackle by the free safety, number 12, Bryant. Or he was going to taste up Brad Bell. Look at his official stats yeah. at halftime, but he is having himself a game. Already has three touchdowns. Wow. And like we said, plenty of time to score. 50 seconds to go here. I mean, he jumped one guy, broke two or three more tackles. He almost took it to the house down the sideline. Nice play. 50 seconds to go here. Five-point game. Diamonds driving late, hoping to put up some more points before the half. Stigler gets the ball back after the halftime, so Diamond's looking to extend the lead. Bell back in the shotgun. He gives up the middle to Capehart. Capehart runs over two guys, runs over a third, took five guys to bring him down. Yeah, number 14, Peyton Henson, number two. 
Bryce tearing time with the with the tackle of Capehart, but like you said, you normally don't bring him down on the first oh. on the first go round as the Black Diamonds are going to take a timeout. All right, we'll we'll keep it here. Okay, a little little quick timeout. But we mentioned we don't have the official stats for Bell yet. We'll sure. have him at halftime. But man, he is ha he looks like a guy that's yeah out to prove something. Yeah, and that definitely. is that he's good. <laughs> yeah. He is showing that he is good. He's, he's got, got wheels. <laughs> he can run. Um, I think in the second half they're going to be able to throw it a little bit more because you're going to have to honor that quarterback keeper, that option play. They're going to, the DBs are going to draw it naturally. It's going to happen. So, um, but as for right now, just keep doing what you're doing for the Diamonds. Good job on the offense. Good job offensive line. Receivers doing a good job staying hooked up with their blocks. In the middle of the field, it's open. So Bell, he's just, he's just running over guys, running past guys, and it's working for the Diamonds. Yeah, normally when you have a 21 nothing lead. You might get a little conservative. You can't do that against the Stigler team as they've just proven went and scored no. on the last two possessions. So no lead is safe here. No, either way. You keep your foot on the gas. And that's what the Diamonds are going to do. So second down and four from the eight. 35 seconds to go. Diamonds looking to put some more points on the board with this five point ball game. Oh, I think they drew them offside just what the Diamonds had planned. We half the distance to the goal. Nice. Hard count. Got them. Stigler was totally not expecting that. Neither was I. So that'll be a first down. Yeah, from those the four. Are the, those are the kind of yards we like. <laughs> the easy ones, the free ones. <laughs> free is always good. I think Salas only drew one uh, penalty last week. Katusha only had one penalty. So yeah, they, it's been a really yeah. They got some home cooking last week. I'll say it. I don't care. I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> first down and goal from the four. Second quarter. Thirty-five seconds to go. All right, let's sit back and watch for a second. Touchdown, Hunter Capehart that on was, the option play, baby. That was too easy for Salisaw. Hunter Capehart off the left side. Big, big block downfield. Number 73, Brandon Valdez just nice. blew his guy completely back down to Haskell County. That was unbelievable. <laughs> nice. Nice option play. Like yep. Speed option, Justin. It works. If you've got a quarterback and a running back and you've got yourself some linemen, you can run that speed option. Jimenez on for the extra point. Going to try and make it a 12-point ball game. It's blocked. blocked. Yeah, blocked there by number 30, Andrew Moore, the big linebacker we're talking about. Let's take a look at the at the touchdown here. Here on the McDonald's, I'm loving it. Replay. You see, look at the surge you got from your lineman. Capehart yeah. walks in. Yeah, just I mean, nobody touched him. You can't beat that. Nope. But it, they've extended their lead. It's 27 to 16, Salisaw. Here with 29 seconds to go in the first half. You're watching Mix TV, Channel 19. And we're back here, 11-point ball game. The Diamonds took it down. What did it took, a minute and a half? What did it take, a minute and a half, a minute and three seconds to go down and get that? Yeah, that's no, just like we bit. said, a minute and 31 yeah. seconds exactly okay. to go downfield and score. But they got a great – Stigler did not get a good kickoff, and they started, you know, at the 40-yard line. So 60 yards, yep. about four plays, a minute and 31 seconds, 29 seconds to go about now. You can't – you can't rest on your laurels. No. You're going to have to keep the uh, keep a defense defensive foot down as well. That's right. Put the pedal to the metal. Jimenez is going to kick it high and short. It's going to be a fair caught at the 34-yard line where the Panthers will take over. First down and 10, 29 seconds to go. Number this 11, is, yep. Thomas Huggins with the catch here, Dave. Good deal. First down and 10, so they're going to try and put up some points here. This is a good spot for the Diamonds to do a pick six. I'm just going to go ahead and yeah. say it right now. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll do a quick little halftime show and then the pride of Salisaw, the marching band. We'll show those, those guys tonight. I do love the marching band, oh, Justin. Yeah. And I junior high, I used to play the trombone and march hey, myself. My daughter plays the trombone. <laughs> nice. Now. I played the drums but not in the band because, well, yeah. I didn't I didn't take direction real well. <laughs> I'm shocked. So <laughs> <laughs> and, and they didn't play Metallica in the band, so See. that's kind of was, was more of, of my my area. Though, as we have a quick so you, time out here on the field, so we'll keep it right here. But so you get to hear the trombone practice at home. Oh yeah, it, what about that B flat scale? One yeah. six four three one four two one. I, I don't know anything about oh. that. That was nothing with me. I didn't learn any music. I, I, I've learned everything. My mom taught me how to play by ear, and I that's how she taught herself, and that's kind of how I am. And you, well, luckily, Patty, who is my daughter, is yep. learning to to you know read music and. So, yeah, big shout-out to the band. I, mean, yeah. I yeah. love the band. I think NFL teams, I think the Washington Redskins are the other ones that have a band. They still have they one. Need, they need to have a band. I didn't know they Everybody had one. Everybody likes a band. Yeah, no, for sure there would be no Friday. There's I mean, an interesting story behind that. We'll, for next week, I'll, we'll, I'll bring that up. Remind me, we'll talk a little bit about the, the only band okay. in the NFL. All right. Yeah. No, I love the marching band. 
as a former member of the junior high band myself. Like I said, I still remember my scales. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Because that was a long time ago, <laughs> man. A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first down and 10 from the 34-yard line in Stigler territory. Panthers going to be in that spread offense. Two wide receivers on either side. Running back in the backfield. That's going to be Brooks back there. Sparkman takes a low snap. He's going to find he's going to find Brooks. Oh no. Brooks is open over the middle. Oh no. Oh, luckily Oliver makes a recovery. Oh. Yeah, great great play there by Oliver and Bell. Both the quarterbacks are back there. I don't think uh, number 9, the quarterback no. uh, Spearman could see his no. Brooks open out of the back for a little wheel route with a Bobby yeah. Petrino wheel route <laughs> with the running back running free there. He just took off down the middle, man. That was uh he was open for a good 2 second window of time luckily. And Sparkman's tall, so must have been a good job by the Diamond defense getting their hands up because he was gone right down the middle on yeah. a seam route. Number 71, Jacob Brown, was had some pressure there. Big guy had his hands up. Yep. So good job there. And like we said, good job by Oliver and Bell to, yeah. uh, to make up ground there. Yeah, recovery. Good recovery. Okay, same set. Bubble screen out to the right. Going to be an important tackle here by Oliver. Oh. No, was that who's that? 81 Henshaw. Henshaw's Henshaw out there to make that tackle, along with too far for me to see. Number four Barger with the reception there got out of bounds to stop the clock. 13 seconds here to go. Yeah, not a lot of time, but with this Stigler offense, they've shown that you know just yeah. even getting down maybe down the field goal range. Diamonds That's right. got to keep things going here. Henshaw did a good job. He got by him, but he turned around and caught up with him. So that's what you want. That's all right, Ben, but don't break, especially with this much time on the clock. As long as, long as they don't get deep and as long as they don't get too far behind you, or behind you at all, actually. Looks like uh, Jimenez is playing the near corner. Bell's going to sneak up as the safety. All right, it's going to be a – uh-oh, double pass, Justin. Uh-oh. It was there, number oh. 19 there. Darren Mayhall had a man wide open, but – He's playing receiver for a reason. He's not. A, he didn't have a real good pass there. So luckily for the Diamonds, yep. a little tricky. Stigler's trying everything, and the Diamonds have stopped it so yep. far. So they stayed home. Maybe they saw something on. On. I mean, with 50 points, they had to have done something oh, sneaky yeah. the last couple of weeks. So hopefully the Diamonds saw that on tape and did a good job to stay home. Six seconds to go here in the first half. 27-16. Salisaw, Stigler with the ball, trying <laughs> to make something happen. But luckily the Diamonds, Dave, have been there. That's right. That's a black. I'll tell you about it later. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Two second down and ten from the 45-yard line. Six seconds to go here. This might be the last play of the half. We'll see. Uh-oh. Nope, they're going to throw a little out route. Took them four seconds. That makes two seconds left on the clock. That'll be a first down. Stigler is likely going to take their last timeout or their second timeout. I think he got out of bounds. And then 15-yard yep. gain there, a little out route, like you said, wide open. Diamonds were playing back. They'll give him that 15 yards That's right. all day long. That's right at this point in the game because what's that put the ball at the 44-yard line, first down and 10. All right, here's the last play of the half. Sparkman in the shotgun, five wide outs. He's going to throw the go route. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage to the far side. And that will be the end of your first half where your Salisaw Black Diamonds are up 27 to 16 over the Stigler Panthers. All right. All right, here we go. Looks like it's going to be the third, the start of the third quarter. Of course, 12 minutes up on the board. And 27 to 16. Your Black Diamonds are ahead of the Stigler Panthers. What does Salasaw need to do here in the second half, Dave, to off the fiend off the – All right, so Stigler's going to get the ball early. They're going to keep running their spread attack. The thing is, is um, as time goes by, they're going to need to – they're going to have to start throwing the ball more and more because uh, the Diamonds are keying in on the run attack. Look, oh, looks like there is – Fair catch. Fair catch by number 11, Thomas yep. Higgins. That's That's been his role tonight. I think that's the third fair catch he's had on the kickoff. Yeah. As, he, as you said, him and is not kicking it. He's only kicked it deep once, and it almost they almost broke it for a touchdown. So I can understand yeah. why they're not doing that. But here we go, second half underway. Okay, first down and 10 for your – for their Stigler Panthers. Diamonds are on defense. Uh, ball's at 36-yard line. Sparkman back at quarterback once again in the shotgun. Four wide receivers. Running back goes into motion. This time it's a play action pass, and he's got a man deep. Nice ball. Oh, he just overthrew number four. That play action worked that time, Justin. Yeah. Four was deep. Yeah, Dawson got Barger was behind. Yep. Everybody wide open. Goodness. Thankfully for the Diamonds, that ball sailed just a little bit out of Spearman's hand. 
and no harm, no foul. But Sal saw that's a couple of those where they've been back and almost got burned a few times. But luckily, the quarterback's accuracy has not been great tonight. And yep. like I said, no harm, no foul. My apologies to the fans. I've been saying Sparkman because I'm used to in high school we played a lot against a lot of oh, Sparkman for Moldro. But Spearman, okay, I'll fix that. I gotta have to figure it out. All right, Brooks. They tried a little misdirection screenplay to Brooks. Spearman threw yeah. it out into the flats. Ortega and Glass there, not fooled at all. Yep. Right on top of that play. Great defense by the Diamonds. Bring up a third and long. There were a lot of Sparkmans and Moldro on the football team, and it sticks with you. <laughs> We used to have a, quite a rivalry with the Bulldogs. You know what I mean, Justin? Oh, All right, third mean. down and 11 from the 35-yard line. Spearman, back to pass. Oh, the ball skipped low, and he tried to make a play for it, but number four could not get the completion. Who was that on the uh, number pressure? Number 34 Odom there, all in his Thank face. You. Good job. He just came on the blitz. No one blocked him and forcing Boom. a punt here. I Three believe, and out quickly. I, I believe this is—is is this the first punt of the night for for Stigler? And they yep. see who they got back to. Big boy, punt he's a, here. He's a big guy. So that was—I know that um, Coach Hawkins always wants to get three and out, three and out, at least three three and outs is his goal. Um, and that's the first one of the night for the Diamonds. Oh, almost blocked it. Yep, high punt, middle of field. Diamonds get away from it wisely. Ball's going to die down around the 45-yard line where the Diamonds will take over. First down and 10. Number Where? seven, the Draven Johnson is the punter for very Stigler. Good. Obviously, they do not punt very often. That may be yeah. the first punt of the year for those guys. I, mean, I don't think that they punt at all in their first two games, so that's pretty impressive if they're in your, the second half of your third game. So who did they play? They played Hartshorn, right? And Hartshorn, then they played Westville. Westville, yeah. Westville, okay. they really put the hurt to last week, so – Home of Jim Ross. Home of Jim Ross. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Barn burner. <laughs> First down and 10 from about the 45-yard line. Two wide receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Going to give to Capehart on the sweep. But the Panthers were there quickly. Hunter Capehart brought down for the loss. Stigler just keyed in on it. Yeah. Lot they could. Number 30, the big linebacker Moore. Not fooled on that one, Capehart. Nothing you can do about that whenever you get the ball and the no. guy's already in your grill. Right. Yeah, no, they, I think they, they – they had a defense set up for that play, so it's going to bring up second down and 14 for the Diamonds. 11-point game. Diamonds are ahead. 10:40 to go here in the third quarter. Wind picked up a little bit. Diamonds going into the breeze. Looks to be about a 10-mile-an-hour breeze, I would say. All right, Bell's going to be on the quarterback keeper. Ball was a little bit loose. He does a front flip. Good for about two yards. Going to bring up third down for the Black Diamonds. Going to be a big play right here. Got tackled down there by number 25. Lake McClary, that's a cool name. Lake McClary with the tackle. First time we've called his name now. Bringing up third. Oh, but they gave him a couple yards. So third about 12 from the 43-yard line. Okay. Actually, they're not going to give him anything. So it's going to be third and 14 from the 43-yard line here. All right, 10 minutes to go. Hmm. Third down 12 from the 43. That's right, Justin. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Maybe they did. Game. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. All right, two wide receivers to the near side. One to the far. Bell back in the shotgun. It's going to be a quarterback draw. Gets past the first barrier. Oh. Runs over a couple oh. of guys. Oh, third effort. That was, a, that, was, that was a rarely seen third effort from the quarterback. Yeah, let's take a look at this play again right, cool. on the replay. He just absolutely runs over people. Gets close to the first down. Let's see if they give it to him. I There's feel sorry for one. this young man that's coming up here. Second oh, my one. goodness. Third one. Yeah, number Four guys. 14, Peyton Hansen meet Mr. Brad Bell. Man. My goodness, what a play there. Third and long run to quarterback first. draw. It's a first down. Good enough. Just enough. All right, the crowd's starting to pick up some momentum. So, too, are the Diamonds. That's why I never played football. Why? I couldn't handle that. What, this, the yelling? No, no, the uh -huh. getting run over like that. Oh. Being a little guy, I would, that's – <laughs> The worst part is when the cleats get the back of your <laughs> oh, skin. I can't even imagine <laughs> Luckily, that young man jumped right up. He's fine. <laughs> If you get stepped on the back, that's, I mean, besides like a, well, we won't say it. Okay, <laughs> first down and 10. Bell on the option. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to, a, that's a forward pass. Ooh. But it's legal, and it's good for five or six. Yeah, that's oh, the man, that dangerous was, but effective. Yeah, that's what, that reminded me of Reggie Bush in that <laughs> national championship game when he pitched it for no reason, and Texas recovered it. Uh, 77, Tristan Mobley for Stigler with the tackle there. Still, uh. 
I'm not sure what's going on here. Did they throw a flag on that? Yeah, there's a flag down. Was he past the line of scrimmage? Was it a forward lateral? I think it could have been a forward lateral. We'll find that here. It's the Zebras. That's right. That's an old school having call. a conference here. Okay. See what they decide. They don't. They don't know. All right. Thanks for tuning about, in, everybody. Here on Mix 19 on Diamond Net Mix TV Channel 19, Diamond Net Internet and Television Services. Yeah, your new home, Southall Black Diamonds football, right here. Each and every game, even those road games. That's right. They, they're, they're really talking about this one. Yeah. Man. I wish we could hear what they're saying. They're gonna say, well. Yeah. Uh, yep. Looks like it's going to be an eligible wow. man downfield. That's right. Nice job on the signals. Huh? Yeah. You can watch as much football as I do. You learn an eligible you man do. downfield, lineman downfield. See if he wasn't. A, you're right. That was a forward pass. Yeah. That's why they, he that's why they got him there. Scrimmage. So there's going to be a five-yard penalty okay. from the original line, and it's going to bring up first and 15 for the Black Diamond. Still, yep. I don't like that play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate the, the wanting to keep the play alive. Right. but Dangerous. Ugh, very dangerous. Yep. So if it's first down and 10 from the original line of scrimmage, in my house we would call that a do-over. Here yes, we go. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> nope, right at no. midfield. Okay, I thought that they moved it back from – okay, my fault. All right, so, goodness, first and 15. At the midfield line. Here we go. 50-yard line, 50 yards to go to pay dirt. Bell's going to throw a bubble route. Ortega tried to run before he caught it. Ball's out in front of him a little bit. Ball hit the ground. Going to bring up third, second down, right? Yeah, uh, second down and 15. Okay, Great you. pressure there by Bryce, Bryce Tarantino. Ortega probably wouldn't have got much anyway. So, again, nope. my favorite thing, no harm, no foul. <laughs> third down and 15 now. Okay. So, they did have. No, right. it's second and, fi second and 15. All right. So, the chain gang and the scoreboard have two different things. Yeah, yeah I see. I see what Here's you're talking about now. Yeah, I see. Third, they're showing third down. They. They uh, third down. No, they're showing third down. Yeah, okay. it's gonna be third down. So they're gonna fix it on the scoreboard. So something as I'm always used to saying at the uh, house, you were right, I was wrong. I don't know, man. We're gonna see. <laughs> yeah, that's Coach, hilarious. <laughs> Coach Bethel. Yeah, is is saying it is sec because. Yeah, because what happened was, all right, we're. I, Let's take a timeout. You want to? Yeah, let's, let's step aside. <laughs> let's They're taking a, a timeout. Break. We'll take a quick break as well. It's 27-16 South all here on Mixed TV Channel 19. Welcome back, everybody, here. Eight minutes, 59 seconds to go in the third quarter. Dave Martin with JP, Justin Pettit. Looks like uh, Coach Bethel's oh. needs to be a lawyer because he yeah. pleaded his case down and got yeah. it back to second down, which is what it should have been anyway. That's right. You and I, we weren't sure. So, yeah, nice appeal by Coach. They went back, retraced their steps, and it's going to be second down and 15. does make sense, though, because the – yeah, that wasn't a loss of down penalty. I, I, I think right. that, I think that they thought it was uh, like intentional grounding, okay. and would, just would have been loss of down. But it, no, it was a illegal man, lineman downfield or yeah, ineligible, right. ineligible lineman downfield. Okay, uh, whole different ball game. Second fifteen, a lot better than third and fifteen. So we'll see what happens here. Eleven point ball game. Your Black Diamonds up on the Stickler Panthers here on Mix TV Channel 19 Diamond Net. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Here for the first game of the year. At home for the Diamonds. Trips wide receivers to the near side. Bailey's going to come, and he's going to now take the tight end position. Bell throws it over the middle. Looks like good to Oliver on a little bit of a curl route. Nice play. Good for – you got half of a bag. It's yeah. going to be, what, third down and eight? Yeah, not number two, Bryce Tarantine. Number four, Dawson Barger. Yep. Barger, excuse me, on the tackle there for Stigler. You're right. Get half of it. Make it manageable on third down. That's right. Bell to Oliver. Nice play. One to 11. So we'll see what happens here on third down and seven from the Stigler Panther 42-yard line. we got to come up with a nickname for those guys. Yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> hmm. We'll come up with something. We'll, we'll think of something. Definitely. Suggestions are welcome, right. by the way. All right. <laughs> third down and seven. Trips, wide receiver to the far side, one to the near, one running back in the backfield with Bell. Bell takes a snap. It's going to be an option play. Take it up the middle, turns against the grain. Oh, man, he's good at that third down run. Brought down by number 50, Stephen Mosley. He's close to the first down. I think he might have got it. Let's see what they signal here. Oh, nice little thing moving back. Good, yeah. huh? Nice spot here. Let's see. Attention mount. So what oh, okay, because he was, he was going off. It the, is a first down. Okay. He moved it back because the referee was holding the line here on the near side. It was just an adjustment. Got it. Another big third down pickup by the Black Diamonds and Brad Bell, who are just uh, doing something that they usually don't do, and that's eating the clock up here. Yep. Clock will continue to roll. 8-10 to go in the third quarter. Diamonds up 11. Trips wide receiver to the far side. Capehart back in the backfield with Bell. He's going to give up to Capehart up the middle. Capehart shakes a man, breaks it out to the far side. Let's watch and see what happens. Look at there. Ooh. 
Nice play by Capehart. You see his feet move? Yeah, Can we take that one again on replay? Kind of pushed him out of bounds there. Take a look at it here on the McDonald's. I'm loving it. Replay here. Great run. That that young man can really just yeah. keep He's got great balance. His feet were talking faster than my my, my words yeah. could come out. Watch this. Again, great blocking downfield. 81 Henshaw there. Looks like number four, Barger, able to knock him out of bounds. Or that was going to be six more. I couldn't keep up with that play. That was good. Nice play for the Diamonds. 7.50 to go here. 7.51, excuse me. All right, we're going to get the wide angle shot. Gives up the middle. Who is that, Glass? Uh, can't really see the number there. I think it was Glass. All right, yeah. nice play by Clay Glass. Straight up the middle, Diamonds. Turn up that clock, turning up the yards. And Glass is one of the guys plays both ways, sure. along with the quarterbacks. 4 4 Oliver, Ortega, all these guys, Henshaw. 4-4, four four, you're going to play both ways if you if you got some games. So. <laughs> That's true. So yeah, definitely. Diamonds back in the red zone here trying to add to their lead. Here's Glass in the backfield. Three wide receivers to the near side. Bell's going to keep it for himself. Quarterback keeper right up the middle. No problem. There's another touchdown for your Black Diamonds. Yeah, right up the middle, about a 10-yard run there. Seems about a one-yard run by Bell. His fifth, two, fourth, touchdown fourth touchdown of the night. Nice play. And the Black Diamonds well on their way up. 33-16 now, extra point pending. Yeah, we'll see what happens here on the extra point for Jimenez. That might I don't know what the record is for the most um, um, touchdowns in a game is. We're going to have to check that out here yeah, in a second, we Justin. We may have to do that one as well. All right, here's Jimenez. It's good. So your Black Diamonds, 34 to 16. We're going to have an instant replay right here, brought to you by McDonald's. Yeah, you see uh, just a right off tackle there for Bell. Had nothing to it. He could have. It was quarterback run all the way. So yep. there, 34-16, the Black Diamonds lead here as they switch ends of the field. Yep, that's and four uh, touchdowns, man. Can you check? Can we check and see yeah, what the all-time record is for most touchdowns in a game by yeah. a Black Diamond on the ground or otherwise, yeah, actually? we could do so Black Diamonds did exactly what they needed to do, took it right down the field. That's right, 18-point ball game here, 7-12 to go in the third quarter. Jimenez on a kickoff for the Diamonds. We're going to have to answer that trivia question here in just a second. Okay, you're good. All right, Jimenez on with a short high kick. They did not fair catch that one, so 11 takes it. I'll tell you who that is while you check that. Looks like Thomas Huggins, the junior, 5'9", yeah, 180. All right, going back to your question, most okay. touchdowns in a game yes. is six. Most touchdowns in a game and was six. six by so. Bubba Philpott. That brings us over to our question we asked you earlier. Right. Who holds the record for most rushing yards in a game? Six touchdowns? Yeah. Was I, it in the same game? Same game. Bubba Philpott versus – actually, no, that was against Fort, Fort Gibson. He had 402 yards rushing against Stillwell back wow. in 2006. So, most rushing yards in a game, Bubba Philpott, 402, wow. 2006 against Stillwell. There's your Black Diamond trivia brought to you here by the mix. Channel 19 on Diamondette. Uh-oh. Ooh, nice play. Yeah, he number, saw it. Number 24, Brody Nicholson, read that play a mile away, knocked it down, almost had a pick six for that young man. Yeah, he had an eye for the end zone that time. Got nice. a paw out there, knocked it down. Yeah, Stigler so, down here. They're they're going to be pulling out their bag of tricks here. So Yeah, they're in no position to be running you know, up the middle every single time anymore. Or, so they're going to have to put the ball in the air. That will keep the clock stopped if they – if they throw an incompletion, or they're going to hope to get a lot of first downs, but we'll see what happens here. Let's we'll sit back and watch. 7 7 to go in the third. Spearman, he's going to just throw it away. Nice job of the defense. Yeah, number 52, Michael Lemons with the pursuit there along with Clay Glass. What a shot call that yeah. man's name all yeah. night long. Hey, so. when you turn up that crowd, Mike, that's high <laughs> drama, man. I was I was caught up in it. <laughs> a little ambiance here. A little Good ambiance job. with the crowd. Good job by the Diamonds staying home on defense. They know what they know what Stigler has to do. The Stigler has to pass it, so it's just going to be a question of can they stay with their wide receivers down the field. Yeah, looks like it's going to be a timeout here. We'll step aside as well. You're watching Mix TV, Channel 19. Everybody here to Mix TV, Channel 19 here in Salisaw at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium as your Salisaw Black Diamonds are up 18 on the Stigler Panthers who made the trip north from Haskell County. 6.58 to go here in the third quarter. 
Yeah, 34-16. There was a flag on the play. Yep. Uh, I haven't got a clarification as to what it is. I don't. Well, they may have just picked that one up. I'm no, not really sure what's no, going moving, on. No, they, they just now walked it off, Justin. So okay. it's third down and 15 for the Panthers. Even better for the Black Diamonds. About We're going to have to give some credit to our crew here in a little bit. Man, what a job they've done tonight, huh? Oh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Spearman back to pass. He steps back. He's got a man. Oh. Ooh, I'm not going to say anything. Henshaw I'm with not going to say anything, man. But uh, Aubrey Henshaw with the coverage there. They're going to get him with pass interference. And I don't know about that one. But, hey, he just, all he did, in my opinion, all he did was break on the ball. But, Okay. We'll have to take All a right, look, it's a look first at down. it here. Automatic first down for Stigler. Hmm. I mean, he was double covered. All right, so we're throwing an out route. Salisaw gets called for the penalty. Ah, first down, Stigler. Sorry, when I go, I go into ups and downs. You know hey, what I mean? I live okay. and die with them, dude. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. So here we go. It's a uh, 6:53 to go here in All the right. third. So they marked so off 15. 15. I guess it was not automatic first down. Okay, so third and one coming <laughs> up for the Panthers. Okay. Third and one. Spread offense here for Spearman. He's probably going to give it to Brooks. Nope, he's going to keep it for himself. He's going to throw over the middle. Oh, luckily, number two dropped it because I, the Diamonds, I think they thought what I thought was going to be a give to Brooks. But yeah, tricked me, tricked the defense. Coaches are not super thrilled that he ran down the field that wide open, Justin. Yeah, number two, Bryce Tarantine heard the footsteps of one Brad Bell and <laughs> yeah. dropped that ball. Yeah. So, again, great defense. Anytime you're playing that good a defense, that causes plays like that. You know? Yeah. Well, they were keen on Brooks. It was third down and two. It was a good position. It was a good spot for Brooks to take it, but – Fooled me. Okay. All right, it's going to be an option play on fourth down. It's going to be a – he got it. That Brooks can play. Yeah, great start, side. So, anytime you can sidestep Clay Glass, yeah. you got some moves. So, great great move there by Brooks to get the first down. Yep. He may not take it to the house, but, man, he's good for two or three, four yards every time. Okay, we'll see what happens here. First down and ten. Stick, we're trying to drive, trying to put something together here. 18-point lead. Does a mix uh, signal reach, Stigler? Uh, yes, uh, the radio signal yeah, that's does. What I mean. Yeah, mix little five one, absolutely cool. It's a good signal. Yes, it's a very good signal. Yeah, check them out at kxmx.com or 105.1 on your dial. So here we go, live on Diamond. That's going to be a pump fake. Uh oh, it's a pump fake and go. Oh man, Spearman is close. He yeah, just he, off there, yeah. just off there over the hands of Barger. That's about the third time tonight that he just overthrew the guy. Yep. It was there. They faked the screen. Yeah. The diamonds bit on the screen a little bit, but then they recovered. Let's check out the replay. Yeah, brought to you by McDonald's. See, it was a nice setup. Great pump fake. The guy was there. Had to step on him, but again, he's floating the ball just a little too high there. Yep. Yeah. All, but Oliver and Henshaw were both right there in position anyway. Yep. Looked like a cover two go route. Or it wasn't a go route. It was a, it was a 92 and go. 92. <laughs> Look at me using old school. <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to shake it. Trips to the far side. One of the near. All right, Spearman back to pass. He's got four wide receivers, but he's chased out of the backfield. Odom's there. Also looks like, oh, a little Not comeback bad. route. Oh, what a catch. Yeah, nice play. What a catch on that one there. My number two. I think it's Turrentine on that. Take a look here at the replay. Check Noah Davis was all up in the grill. Nice. And Spearman, he was about to get him, almost yeah, got him. And then you see Odom again. But he was able to get the pass off. Great grab mm -hmm. there. Stigler's By number two, Tarantine, whose name we've called a lot. First yep. down. Stigler is Stigler. They are going to throw the ball, and they're going to complete some. So as long as they don't get behind you, especially here late in the third quarter, 18-point lead, protect that lead. But uh, we'll see what happens here on first down and 10 from 35. Ben, don't break. That's right, man. Yes, sir. Got a penalty flag here. Hopefully we'll have a delay of game. I believe that's exactly what it is. We lay a gain on Stigler, five yards back. See, every time Stigler does something good, yeah. Fortunately, they back, they hurt themselves and back themselves back up. Yeah, that's a big five yards here because they were trying to put together a drive. So we'll see. First down at 15. 5:40 to go. Still a breeze from the north, from the south to the north, which I love, by the way. Berlin is press box. Yeah, it feels good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, two wide receivers to the near side, two to the far. It's a spread formation, first down and 15. Spearman is going to fake the bubble route, but he's going to go deep to 19. 
Nice play. Nice grab. Yeah. No, that was a good play. A great catch there by number 19, Garyon May Mayhall. Let's take a look at here. Spearman, he, Garen, when, he's, yeah. when he's on, man, he, he's got a great ball. Great yeah. coverage down there. Nice play by Garen Mayhall. Is that what yep. his name Him is? Jimenez right. was down there with the coverage, but that was just a perfectly thrown ball. Not much you can do about that. Something that yeah well they've they've run that they've run that wide receiver screen all night and they've sent the inside receiver and that's what happened again that time except they faked it mm, okay let's see what happens here Spearman's gonna throw it over the middle oh they were throwing to the tight end the big man they've been flexing that tight end out he's he built like a true tight end but um, I don't know who that is six right yeah Kelby the, Self number six Kelby Self they haven't thrown it to him all night and he, that may have been why but again a great position there by Brad Bell who was all over that guy yep. All right, second down and 10. Stigler on the attack. Stigler Panthers. I got an interesting story about how the Stigler Panthers came to be. <laughs> when we get a time, I I'll can't give wait you to hear this information. One. Yeah. <laughs> you can write a book, my friend. <laughs> I just have good sources. <laughs> second down and 10. Spearman back to pass. He's looking over the middle. He was going for the slant route, but he's going to throw the wheel. Brooks was deep in the corner. He dropped it. Nice defense. Stayed with him the whole way. Garrett Brooks has been a machine for the Panthers, and he almost put up six right there. Yeah, great coverage down there by Ortega. Great sportsmanship yeah. as well, helping this guy up off the field. Good guys. Little wheel ride. I call that the Bobby Petrino route because that was his favorite. Other than the slant over the middle, yep. which he, if you ever watch the Bobby Petrino offense when he was in Arkansas, ever, there was a receiver crossing on every Play. That's and what they did right there. The outside receiver had the slant over the middle, and the inside receiver did wheel route. Wheel was open, but luckily good defense by the Diamonds. Okay, Spearman rolling out to the right. right. Let's see what happens. It's way out there. Okay, he threw it short. Great Bounced. pursuit by number 24, Brody Nicholson. Cool. Number 54, Josh Wiley as well. So the Diamond defense stiffening up here, bringing up fourth down. Easier to see off our replay board here, so we're going to check it out here. 34 to 16. 23 going to check into the game. I believe that's Fulbright. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's going to play wide out to the far – or no, he's going to play corner out there on the island. Spearman. Revis Island. Yeah. Spearman's going to throw the slant route. Nice defense by Salisaw there to break it up. Yeah. Off the hands that's right. of – Barger there has had a quiet game. That's right. What? Let's see. You, oh man, they're going to turn it over on downs. Good play for your Black Diamonds on fourth down. Yeah, 34-16 here. 4:55 to go in the third quarter. And Salisaw again. We said it all night. Yep. They're giving Stigler pretty much letting them march down the field. But when they get in the red zone, they tighten up. Great defense. Yeah, that's one thing about Salisaw. They're bending, but they're not breaking. Up 18. Playing a great offensive team here in the Panthers. 4.55 to go. Diamonds are going to take over. First and 10 from their own 13. Let's see what happens. Three wide receivers at the far side. Is that right? Tied into the near side. One running back in the backfield with Bell. He's covered up right now. I can't see. Probably Capehart, I would imagine. Yep, Hunter Capehart. Good for four or five yards. Nice run. Good job by that Black Diamond offense. Brought, brought down by number 19, Eight Garrett Eight Mayhall. Eight Let's see here. We didn't mention Jack Gladner earlier. 66, he's checked in there. He's playing some offensive line. Yeah, they, he, got, uh, they got some guys. They yeah, rotate some guys in there. So That's good. That's good. All right. Looks like a number 15, Caden Bailey out there as well. Good deal. My favorite number. That, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite number. 15, man. That's my number. <laughs> All right, 419 to go here. 34 to 16 diamonds. Second and five. The looks like Bell again. Look at him running over guys. Stepping over guys. He's hard to catch, man. Here he, he goes. Out to midfield. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Black Diamonds! 81 yards. For Bell took it to the house. Watch this replay, ladies and gentlemen. He's just running over people. Not much you can do about that if you're a Stigler. I'm telling you what, Brad Bell is playing like a man possessed out there. I mean, in a good way, he is playing fantastic. Look at him. They're dragging the jersey. Nothing. Absolutely nothing going. He's just gone. That is his fifth touchdown of the night. Wow. We'll get the stats for him. That puts him, I would imagine, Dave, he's approaching 300 yards rushing as Jimenez comes in here for the extra point. Oscar Jimenez, number three on. It's no good. No good. 
40 to 16 here in the third quarter. Southside leading Stigler. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV Channel 19. And welcome back to Perry F. Lattimore Stadium where your Southside Black Diamonds lead the Stigler Panthers 40 to 16. Just now a spectacular 81 yard Man. run by Brad Bell. His fifth touchdown uh, unofficially Dude. has about 290 yards rushing tonight. Wow. He is, I'm telling you, wow. anytime he started off a little rough. He threw the interception yeah. in the end zone. But ever since then, it has been the Brad Bell show here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. Man, and the offensive line show. Yes, wide receivers the offensive blocking line, downfield yeah. show. The running back keeping him on his show. It's been great. All right. So Jimenez is going to kick it high. Huggins again about yeah. his fifth fair catch of the night. That's kind of been his job. But yeah. again, You're, we were talking earlier on Bubba Philpot. Yeah. 406 yards, I believe, or 402 Two, yards. Yeah. The record, I don't know if Brad Bell can get to that because I'm not sure if Coach Bethel's going to keep him in, keep him in there for, for that. With 20, the it's, only three score, it's only a three-score game, though. Yeah. yeah. But, again, here I, I'm, I'm contradicting myself because no, I said, right. you know, Stigler could come back on anybody, but it's, it's the way this defense is playing tonight, you know. That's what you got to call it. Spread offense. Spearman's going to give to Brooks. Brooks off of the right side. It's going to be a sweet play. Breaks outside, but brought down by the Diamonds. Number 34, Odom again. Yep. He's been all over the place. Also number 24, Brody Nicholson in there on the tackle. So, yep. again, the, the Diamonds defense. They're getting three or four yards, Stigler is, but that's about it. Yep, definitely. It's going to be good here with three minutes, 30 seconds to go. 24-point game. You're exactly right, Justin. Is Man, we knew this was gonna, there was going to be a lot of points <laughs> in the board. We were just hoping they were going to go in Salisaw's favor and knock on wood. It's going to continue to be... Just that. All right. Wheel route to the near side. He's going to throw it deep. Oh, no, but he's got a post. He had two guys wide open. Salisaw uh, bent a little bit on that one. Yeah, number 19, Darren Mayhall yeah. with a nice reception there. Tackle down by number three, Jimenez. Let's take a, okay. take a look at the replay here. You're right. There were two guys open there. I think Salisaw kind of got caught sleeping yep. with a big lead. And luckily they're throwing Again, a deep no harm, no post. foul. What a beautiful. He finally threw a great – he had a guy wide open. Yep. And he, he's had that a few times tonight and has missed, but luckily right there. He's had. Excuse me, unluckily right there. He <laughs> Luckily for him. Yeah, luckily for him, not us. Unlucky for us. They, like, the guy was able to bring it in, so it's first down. All right, now it's time for that red zone defense of the Diamonds. We'll see what happens. Looks like pressure on the quarterback. Ooh. Threw it just out of reach. Yeah. Odom bring him second again. Down. Cecil Odom again bringing the pressure, hitting the quarterback. Just over the head, the fade right there. The, the most overrated play in football, by the way, yeah. the fade route. I hate the fade route. You don't like it. I don't like the – how often does it work? Well, unless you got I Randy Moss saying. out there or Calvin Johnson, <laughs> man. Is this a jump ball? <laughs> yeah. Or, like or Derek Gish, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Derek Gish could go get it. Second down and 10 from the 14. Third quarter, three minutes to go. It's going to be a little bit of a bubble route there by the H-back. Going to be incomplete. Yeah, 24 Brody Nicholson on the coverage there. I'm going to ask our stat man. I'll be right back. One question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I got one question for him. Yeah, he's going to step aside. But the Black Diamonds have really played such good defense here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, and the offense compared to last week, it's just been fantastic here as Dave is coming back with his stats. It's okay. Sorry, man. I was checking out the stats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got you. Give me that look. I'm sorry. First down, or excuse me, third and 10 <laughs> for Stigler. All right, third down and 10, ball on the 14-yard line. Third, let's see here, he's going to be scrambled, and he's going to be brought down by number 34. That's going to be Odom in the backfield, your senior linebacker, making a big play for the Diamonds. Surprise, surprise, Cecil Odom in the backfield. Let's take a look at that here. On our McDonald's, I'm loving it replay. That, that play had no chance. That was blitz all the way. Definitely. I mean, just boom. Look at him in it. Looked like a zone blitz there as he coming from the outside, but – Perfect defense there by the Diamonds. Brings up fourth and 17 for Stigler. Going backwards every time they've got close. You got it, man. 24-point ball game. Got to go for it, though, if you're Stigler. All right, spread formation. Five wide receivers, actually, this time. They've got them everywhere, Justin. Fourth down and 17. A big play for your Black Diamonds, hoping to shut them down. Let's see what happens. Scramble to the right side. Looks like it's going to be brought <laughs> down in the backfield. That's number 24. Brody Nicholson, Brody. your other senior linebacker. Nice job for the Diamonds. Going to be turnover on downs. Yeah, turnover on downs. So change of possession. We'll step aside. It's Southsaw 40, Stigler 16 here on Mixed Team. We're back here at Perry of Lattimore Stadium with the Black Diamonds. Takeover on downs, and Hunter Capehart's going to be good for about eight yards on a little zone play out of the shotgun. Nice job for Hunter Capehart as third, third quarter starts to wind down. 
I think that puts him, he's close to 100 yards as well. I know Brad Bell has just kind of stolen the show out there, but Hunter Capehart had himself a game, and again, the receivers have yeah. been blocking downfield, Henshaw, yep. all those guys downfield. So it's been a complete team effort. And, of course, you don't get anywhere without the big hog mollies up front, no. the offensive line. That's right. And the good thing about Capehart is, is that if you fake to him, every, you're going to have two or three guys key on him, so that's what's freed up Bell a whole lot. It's going to be a little bubble play. Nice route out to the right side. Looks like Jordan Oliver is going to be good for the first down. Nice catch and run. A little bit of yards after catch. Stays in bounds. Less yeah. than two minutes to go here in the third quarter. That's almost like a run play. Those little short screens like that. Almost yeah. like an extended run play. So yep. and uh, your keep wide the clock running. Your wide receivers turn into downfield blockers. And you're just basically running a run play out to the, the outside. It's working great. Very impressed with this Diamonds offense. We were impressed with them last week. It just sure. they just made a few too many mistakes, and that's not been the case so nope. far. First, uh, that was the first game. Had a lot of gelling to do. Okay, three wide receivers, two to the far side, one to the near. Going to give to Capehart. Nope, we're going to keep it for himself. See, looky there. It's going to be another <laughs> big Bradville run. He's going to cut back against the grain. They're going to have a hard time bringing him down. Look out, Bell. Stay on your feet, baby. Yeah. Nice job for Brad Bell and those Salisaw Black Diamonds. Good job, offensive line. Take a look at that in the replay. Brad Bell, fantastic running in, brought down by finally by number 11, Thomas Huggins. Well, check this out here. Man, I'm just going to sit back and watch, Justin, because <laughs> watch right here. He turns against the grain. 11, oh, breaks his ankles, goes in the middle of the field. 18, jumps over 18. Nice play by Brad Bell and the Black Diamonds. You know, you would think the Bell's going to get the game ball, but it could go to that offensive line. Let me line. tell you something. That's, yeah. That puts him over 300 yards now. Are you serious? That, okay. that rushing record. We still got a quarter to go, depending on what Coach Bethel does. That's true. Who knows? He's going to be in that book in the top five, I think, by the end of the night. Nice play by Capehart. Let's check out. Let's see who has the most rushing yards in a game. There's Bubba Philpott twice, Josh Brackett, and Tim Blunt. Those are some pretty good names up there. Um, so actually, he's, he's already jumped into third. He's in third and probably even second now because Phil Pot at second with 307. Unofficially, he's at about 320 right now. So right. he would be in second place. Second on the greatest time. rushing game yeah. ever by a Black Diamond. By Black Diamond. Josh Brackett, that's a blast from the plaza out right there. I went to school with that guy. That's right. See him on Facebook every day. Here we go. Second <laughs> down and six for your Black Diamonds. Three wide receivers to the far side. Running back in the backfield. Going to be Capehart back there with Bell. Let's see what happens. He throws it high out to Oliver on a little bit of a bubble route. Oliver catches it. Tackled there by number 12, Ryan Bryant. Number 18, Carson Gray for Stigler. Loss of about five, four yards on the play. But that's okay. It's gonna ball stays, the ball is safe, protected. That's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. And we're going to go to a commercial break right here on Mix Channel 19. Diamond. Go green. Indeed. Third down and 10. Bell is going to run the speed option. He's going to pass it out. He's going to pitch it out to Capehart. Capehart's going to take it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Black Diamonds. Yeah, un that was too easy for Salisaw right there. Take a look at it here on the instant replay. Yeah, let's check it out after the extra point. Oh, no, no that's, straight that's to my, it. That's my bad. That's all good. No, okay, let's I check it out. The last look at that option is. pitch right out in front. Perfectly pitched. Yeah, 40-yard game. I mean, nobody touched him. I think Stigler right now is just wanting to go home. They Man. gave no effort whatsoever on that play. So, K-Part, I believe that's his second score of the night as well. 46-16 here with the extra point. That's a lot of yards and a lot of points on the board. Here comes Jimenez. Jimenez. Oscar on a kick, number three, left-footed, Oliver to hold. Got to get our lineman out there, ready to get set. Still got <laughs> 10 seconds left on the play clock, plenty of time. 24-point ball game, trying to make it 25. Yeah. Well, the guys run out there late, and that's generally yeah. what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, that this extra point is not something crucial right now. Right. No. There we go. Now we're going to get our... I think we ran a lineman out there who's typically not on the team because it was kind of a surprise touchdown. It came out of nowhere. So yeah. it does second game. Sometimes it happens on special teams. Luckily, it's an extra point, not a field goal. They'll work on that in practice. It's all oh, good. Oh, sure. Okay, so it's a 30-point ball game. Trying to make it 31. It's good. 31-point ball game. Your Black Diamonds up on the Stigler Panthers, 47-16 here. 11.52 to go in the fourth quarter. 
And we are back here live from Perry F. Lattimore Stadium here in the fourth quarter. 11.52 to go here on Mix TV Channel 19. Dave Martin with JP, Justin Pettit here. And your Black Diamonds are up 31 points on the Stigler Panthers. Here we go, Justin. Looks like it's going to be fair caught <laughs> at the 40-yard line. Higgins again. Yep. <laughs> Higgins again with the... With the fair catch, about his sixth or seventh of the night. We were just talking to our stat guy over here, Clayton Lucas the third or the three, as they're calling him. Sure. 318 yards unofficially for Brad Bell. Six <laughs> Good job. touchdowns. And I think Hunter Capehart over 100. I think it's 120, 127 and a couple of touchdowns. So nice job on the stats. Total <laughs> domination by, by the Black Diamonds. And, of course, the offensive line, all the receivers blocking downfield. Looks like a totally different team than what we saw last week at, at Catoosa. Looking good, man. Good job on the statistician because you need an Excel spreadsheet to get this thing done. That's a lot of yards. All right, that looks like Garrett Brooks on the toss play. Old school sweep. Good for about two yards. Second down and nine. I think we got another quarterback in. They're going to go ahead and get the back up some work. Yep. Higgins. Isn't that somebody off Magnum PI? Yeah, number 66, Josh Jones. Sophomore with the tackle there for the Black Diamonds. Higgins, yes. Also, uh, right? Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, oh. his sidekick. Oh, man, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> All right, spread offense. Spearman's going to give it up the middle. Okay, 19 came in as the wide receiver. Yeah, tackle so they're leaving there. Spearman in. Tackle there by number 21, Connor Daffin. Nice play, Connor Daffin, number 21, getting some game. Number 7, Ortega, also with the assist there. Let's this, this, see this, whole, this has been a complete game for the Diamonds. I mean, the offense, the defense, special teams. Uh, other than the interception on the nice. first drive, it's been they have just not. They put talk about putting it behind you and just that's right moving forward. Yeah, no, this is exactly what Salisaw needed. Um, let's see here. Four wide receivers, two on either side. Spearman's going to throw it deep. He's got a man. Looks like ooh, nice play. Nineteen oh, nice. on the go route. Connor's going to try to catch him, but could not. Valiant effort, and that's good for a Stigler Panther touchdown. Yeah, number 19, Mayhall, with a huge reception there. I think it may be too little too late for the Stigler Panthers, though, but they're not giving up. No. Extra point pending here. No, there's plenty of time in this ball game. Let's see. All right, let's see, after let's this see. extra point. Let's see here. That. See who they're. I say let's see here a lot. Sorry, that's just what I say. Oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I think that's what the fans at home are thinking. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. I shouldn't have pointed it out. Yeah, I'll never live it down. All right, they're going to go for two. The two-point conversion. It's going to be a bootleg. He's going to roll out to the near side. He's going to throw it, but it's picked off by Bell, number one. So he's making plays on defense, too, and that's going to take us to a commercial break right here where the Diamonds are at 47-16 on Mixed here on Mixed. TV, Channel 19 on Diamond Net, Internet, and Television Services. Also, don't forget to check out the Mix's website, kxmx.com. Don't forget to check out my man here, JP, Justin Pettit. <laughs> JP in the morning mix every weekday morning on 105.1, even Labor Day. And here is your kickoff. Let's see. I know Labor Day came and gone, but you <laughs> yeah. came and went, but you worked. So, respect. I mean, is, but the, also, be sure to head to our website, kxmx.com, yep. for score stream. You can check out all the scores. <laughs> Of the local teams right there in one spot so you can watch uh us yeah watch us on, on the live stream or on the kxmx.com sure. also at kxmx.com you can check out the mix 105.1 game of the week right now which is a good one by and Definitely. pro grove matt merrill david hadley with the play play there and you can check out your scores yes for all the games going on so your one stop shop i guess i should say kxmx.com that's right i would have us on the tv <laughs> the, the fellas on the radio, yes. back and forth, and then on my laptop, I've had the score stream. That's that's the perfect that's the setup right there. All right, trips wide receivers to the near side. Going to give it up the middle. Who is that, Capehart? Oh, yeah. I would bet it would be. And he's good for about six yards or so on first down. That's going to bring up second down and three or four for the Diamonds. Yeah, that's another strong run there by Capehart. He's had himself a night. Like I said, I know Brad Bell has kind of stolen the show, but – K-Part doing well, good as well. All right. The score is going to be 47 to 22. Second down and six for your Black Diamonds. Yeah, I think the Diamonds just taking their time here, running that clock out, which that's what I do too. That's right. About time to go home and <laughs> eat a hamburger. <laughs> I already had one today. <laughs> Second and five. Going to give to K-Part. No, he's going to keep for himself. Bell. 
He gets a yard or two, but you can bet that they're looking out for number one after the night he's had. Cut tackle by number 23, Kenneth Van Tassel of Stickler. Third and four here at the 27 yard line, 25 point ball game. I love that crowd, Mike. That yeah. just, just adds the ambiance. That's right. Reminds <laughs> me of Friday night. Yeah, so, so if you don't have your surround sound, then turn that baby up. We got the crowd not going tonight. <laughs> That's right. Trips wide receiver to the near side. One wide receiver to the far side. Capehart in the backfield with Bell. It's going to be an option play. Speed option. Pitches it to Capehart. They were looking for that on third down, so that's probably going to bring up a fourth down in your punting team for the Diamonds. Yeah, lots of pursuit there for Stigler. Number 60, Hayden Berry. Number 67, Dalton Main. Out there, not giving up. And Salsa, like you said, nothing right. too fancy there. They're just trying to run the clock out, and I don't blame them. That's right. Let's see. Another punt Also, here. most rushing touchdowns in a game, so he tied for second. We'll check that out here in a second, yes. Justin. Fourth down. He may have tied one of my old teammates. I did a lot of handing off to that guy. <laughs> they never let me throw it with a guy like that. All right, fourth down. It's going to be Jimenez. It's going to be a high punt. Kicks it out Ooh. to the 50. Nice diamond bounce. Going to go down almost to the 35-yard line. Got to go down there and touch it. Brody Nicholson downs it for the diamonds. So 8-10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Salasaw right has just 47. done such a great job here. 47-22. Uh, like we said, next week mm -hmm. we'll be heading up to NFU, Tahlequah, as the Black Diamonds host the Tahlequah, or excuse me, travel the Tahlequah Tigers. You That's can right. catch that right here on Mixed TV Channel 19. It will also be our Mixed One of Five Point Game of the Week, so we'll be taking the radio boys with us as well. I love those guys, G O T W guys. That's their yeah, uh, check Facebook. out their Facebook page. That's right. Yeah. I like to go on there and troll them every once in a while just to mess with them. <laughs> Nothing bad, but you know, no, those guys. Hey, those, those guys do a great job. This is actually guys. I don't know if I should say this. Now. This is their first year doing broadcasting. Either one of them, yep. man, they do a good job. I like listening to them. Okay, Spearman back to pass. He's got a lot of time. He's going to pump fake twice. Now he's in trouble. He's going to throw it out, but the receiver is upended. Hope he's all right. Let's see what happens. Yep, that was number two on. He was the intended receiver. Yeah. Ortega goes and helps him out. Let's go take a look at the replay here. Let's check it out. That was uh, poor guy. I think he got shaken up there. Yeah, he got upended, man. Let's see what happened. He had a lot of time. Yeah, he had plenty of time. The Black Diamonds really not putting on a rush here. You see. No, they were playing prevent yeah. defense. Number 54, Wiley, not really yep. going too crazy after the guy, but up in there. Oh, hopefully that young man is okay. Anytime the helmet flies off, it's a hard hit. I don't like to see that. All right, the ball's on the 36-yard line. Eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. 25-point ball game. Salisaw playing good defense. They're going to be in a prevent defense right now. It's going to try to keep everything in front of them, hopefully keep that clock going. Spearman and the Panthers are going to try to put up some points. We'll see what happens. They're going to throw. Oh, they're going to fake it this way. They're going to come back this way. Fake it that way. Come back this. Sorry. Yeah, fake the, <laughs> the screen was dropped there by the true freshman, Mason Perry. That's right. Uh, put it, that's a big spot for a freshman to be in in a game like this. That's right. So third down and long. They, it was like a double screen. Fake the screen to the far side. That's came a great play. It just takes so long to develop. Yeah. And when the Black Diamonds are... Again, they've kind of called off the dogs. If that had been in the first half, that play would have been blown up yeah. way long. Those that's guys would have been all over that. It's all relative to the time and the place, Justin. That's right. Third down and 10 at 36-yard line. Nice ball over the middle. It's going to be a slant to the tight end. That's number six. Who is that, Justin? Kelby Self, the tight end, the big tight end for the first down. Yep. So the Diamonds are playing back. So they're going to give up those soft plays like the like a little slant route over the middle. Back here, looks like Jimenez was... Banged up a little bit, but it comes off the field under his own power, so that's good to see. So hopefully it's a cramp. Might have had a little bit of a sprain, so we'll see. It's, cramp, right. yeah, it's hot out here. Yeah. It's very humid, and like we mentioned earlier, this is supposed to be the last really hot day of the summer. Well, are you getting that from the Farmer's Almanac? Where are you getting this? I am getting I know that from the Farmer's Almanac. I'm a big Farmer's Almanac guy. You know, I, I host a show called County Talk. Yes. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2 p.m. on the Mix 105.1, and I, I have one of the editors from the old Farmer's Almanac on there, and they're okay. like at an 80% prediction rate okay to the good all right then well i can't argue with that here comes brooks on the sweet play looks like he's good for the 10 yards that they needed we'll see here they're gonna move the chains yeah look like he was tackled there by number 15 caden bailey number 36 clay glass number 34 cecil odom whose name we have called all night long very good let's see what happens here 
Dom is just playing that prevent defense, trying to keep everything in front of them. Oh. This might be a little. I tried to make the call, but the referee shut me down. I didn't even see it, so <laughs> I was looking the other way. I think he's going to have a procedure penalty. On Stigler here. We'll see. Exactly. So five yards. Back him up. See, this has kind of been the story of the night for Stigler. Big play, big play. Penalty. Back him up. Kind of knocks him out of the rhythm. Two steps forward, one step back. That's good for the Diamonds. That's a song, man. I about busted in some Paul Abdul there. Oh, wow. Wow. You <laughs> yeah, play that I work one? On, you play I work, that one? Oh, we, got, we play that one. You <laughs> bet you we do. That one, I do listen to the mix. <laughs> I have not heard that one yet. I'm going to have to tune in a little closer. I do like that song from the skating rink. Okay. First down and 15. Looks like Spearman on a play-action pass. He picks up a block. But there's too many Black Diamonds swarming to the defense. Nice play for your Black Diamonds on the sack. Ortega actually gets the tackle, but Clay Glass was all over him again. Odom yeah. on the play. 24, Brody Nicholson. High they brought the blitz that time. They weren't backing off. No, it was a nice play. They had some time. Good job by the defense in the secondary, shutting him down, not giving Spearman a place to throw it because Spearman can play ball. He can throw it. So but the, to hold him to 22 points almost – Halfway through the fourth quarter is quite a feat for the Diamonds. Yeah, we were coming in here, you know, they scored 50 points each game. Here we go. Great defense. Spearman, he's got trips wide receivers at the far side. He's going to pick up some pressure, though. He's going to throw it out. It's a deep route. It's caught. Nice comeback play. That's number two. They got to make a play, though. Come on, Diamonds. What a move. He was not going to be denied, and that's going to be a touchdown for the – no, the, he must have stepped out of bounds. Yeah, Turrentine there, number two. Great, great play by Stigler again. I think the yeah. Diamonds just kind of got Scott sleeping there. It's hard just, it, it's hard to stay up whenever you're up by 25. No, man, this game is not over, ladies and gentlemen. Man, Looks okay, like they're gonna mark him out at about the four yard line. First and goal for Stigler. 6:20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Okay, first and goal from the three. 6:20 to go in the fourth quarter. Diamonds looking to. Shut them down, not give up any more points. We'll see what happens. Let's sit and watch. Nice play by the Diamond defense. Brooks tried to take up the middle. Oh, he took it away. Who's that, Bailey? Bailey tried to say he had it. I think he might have almost got it there. That's right. Nicholson also on the defense. Ortega. All the usual suspects for the Diamonds making a nice play. Yep, yeah, it's just been a complete yeah. defensive performance by all those guys out there. Yeah, everybody's made tackles. Or, I mean, they've gotten behind them maybe a couple of times, but when you're playing a 50-point-a-game offense, you're pretty happy with yeah, 22 you cut, points. Yeah, cut their average in half. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. All right, it's going to be an option keep for Spearman. It's going to be good for the Stigler Panther touchdown. Yeah, he just walked that one right in there. Makes it 47-28. to 28. 5.37 to go here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. It's going to be an extra point attempt. Oh, yeah. They're going to go for two as they per their custom. Oh, no. They're, what are we going to do here, Justin? Yep, they're going to go for I think they're going to go two. for two. Yeah, yeah. They, haven't, they haven't kicked an extra point all night. The breeze picks up here. Oh, busted play. They were trying to reverse, and the Diamonds were not fooled. So, what is that, 19 points? That's going to take us to a, we're gonna check out a replay. Now we're going to do the McDonald's score report here. That's exactly what we're going to do. Of course, Salasan now up 47 to 28, checking out some scores of some local teams. Panama up on Central 53 to 6 right now in the fourth quarter. Muldrow up on Spyro 42 to 13 in the fourth. Gans down to Union Christian 42 to 6 in the third. Prairie Grove still beating Vianne 21 to 10 in the third quarter, and Tahlequah Sequoia defeated Roland 46 to 6. Roland now 0 and 3 on the season, still no score in that Gore Mounds game. I guess they don't have very good cell service out okay. there. My guy, I can't get a hold of him. So okay, all right. Well, there your is McDonald's. Your I'm loving it. Scoreboard report. Thank you for that, Justin. And I got an update here from the Salisaw High School record book out of the program, available to you from the Booster Club. We always support the Booster Club. Absolutely. Um, the most rushing touchdowns in the game, like you said, was Bubba Philpott back in 2006 against Fort Gibson. After that, five touchdowns. Josh Holman against Shakota in 1998. And Brad Bell, our quarterback tonight, has tied that record. So he now has the second most touchdowns, tied for the second most touchdowns on 
the ground of any player in Black Diamond history. Good night to be a Southside Black Diamond. Hopefully we can keep it up in our 19-point lead. Maybe extend it here as we have 5.37 to go here in the fourth quarter. Oh, better jump on that. Better get on that ball. ball. Oh, goodness. That is a live ball. Let's see who comes up with it. It's almost just like a long onside kick. It looks like yeah. number four, Ooh. Nate Asbill, jumped on that and survived the onslaught of Stigler players jumping into it. That could have been very bad. So good job, Nate, jumping down, getting on that ball, number four. Important play. Yeah, I mean, oh. if, if that's a turnover there, if Stigler takes it down the field and scores, I mean, we're, you're talking about a – you know, Close one game. possession game here just Close about. There's game. still plenty of time left for either one of these offenses. If you saw, saw on this drive, I think you just got to kind of kill the clock out. I think Sal saw is going to get a healthy dose of K-Part or fake it to K-Part and keep, and keep it with Bell. So I don't even think they're going to run a lot of option. They don't want to put the ball no, into not, play not very much. So it's going to be, yeah, quarterback keep up the middle. Back against the grain. There goes Bell. Bell, oh, he won't be brought gone. down so easily. I don't he's think they're going to catch him. He 40, is gone. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and touchdown. I think we got some laundry on the field. Oh, there's going to be a flag on the play, bringing it back. That would have been a 74-yard scamper. That would have put him yeah, that right broke. at the bubble, bubble <laughs> field pot <laughs> record. Broke. Oh, bringing it back on a holding penalty. Oh, that's Man. too bad. <laughs> that's too bad. We almost had history here, folks. Hey, that's almost. Right. We still got 518 to go. Plenty of time. Coach Scott Bethel not happy, which yeah, I wouldn't not. be either. Again, something I talked about earlier. I got a yeah. lot of friends that played O-line, and like they said, there's holding on every play. They just oh, call it whenever man. they want. Sam Pittman, the former, now former offensive line coach at Arkansas, I used to talk to him, and he said that every play. We teach, our, teach our guys. Of course, you you have to hold. I mean, those guys in the <laughs> SEC. Are you kidding yeah, I don't me? Blame them. Those big linemen, <laughs> D linemen from Alabama. And oh LSU. yeah. Can you imagine? Uh, is it still going to be good for the first down because of the spot of the penalty? Uh, hey, records aside, all we want is the W, and we will be happy, right, JP? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Especially heading into, like you said, Telequa next week, uh, stepping up in class to 5A. So, yeah, Telequa's going to get ready for these cells. So Black Diamonds trip formation to the far side. Bell, low snap, gives it to Kpart. Kpart's going to get him a little bit. He's gone. Of yard. Holding on every play. They just oh, call it whenever man. they want. Sam Pittman, the former, now former offensive line coach at Arkansas, I used to talk to him, and he said that every play. We teach, Every our, play. teach our guys. Of course, you, you have to hold. I mean, those guys in the <laughs> SEC, are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't me? blame them. Those big linemen, <laughs> D-linemen. From Alabama and oh, LSU. Yeah. Can you imagine? Uh, is it still going to be good for the first down because of the spot of the penalty? Uh, hey, records aside, all we want is the W, and we will be happy. Right, JP? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Especially heading into, like you said, Telequa next week, uh, stepping up in class to yeah. 5A. So, yeah, Telequa's going to get ready for these cells. So Black Diamonds trip formation to the far side. Bell, low snap, gives it to Kpart. Kpart's going to get him a little bit. He's gone. Of yardage and more, 35, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Hunter Kpart. 62 yards, Dave, for Hunter Kpart. We're going to check the stats. I think that puts him over the 200-yard mark as well. Let's check it out on the instant replay. Perfect. Right up the middle, bounces it to the outside. <laughs> they were not going to catch him. Like we said, it was either going to be in Kpart or Bell. Kpart, what a runner, man. Strong, runs a high, gets those legs churning. Once he hits the outside, though, they aren't going to catch him. Nice play. No, nah, and again, just superb blocking by the offensive line. All the big guys and the receivers as well. Henshaw down there as well. All right, so we got a – with Jimenez being out with the – Injury, they're going to put in Juan Castor, number six, and it's got good. It. Hey, got All it. right. we'll, keep it, we'll keep it right here with 4.55 to go. The wind begins to pick up, which I'm not grabbing about. 54 to 28, Salisaw. Man, what a what a turnaround from, from yeah. last week, Dave. But we, like we said, the we saw the signs of the offense there. The pieces were there It was just. Week. Again, I think it was the first game jitters. Yeah. I bet if we, if, I, again, I'm, I'm going to say. It was a strange night. If we played that game yep. over Salisaw scores 50 on, <laughs> on Katisa. Because let's face it, Katisa just was not that good. But Salisaw couldn't get out of their own way. And this is what we expected to see out of the Black Diamonds right here. That's right. Man, oh, man. You has my optimism really picked up for next week. I like, I like Fort what Gibson, I'm hearing. Fort Gibson beat Tahlequah last week, another 4A school, 14-7. Yeah. to 7. True. So Tahlequah, it's a good chance to get up there and get a victory. And That's you right. be 2-1 heading into district play. 
man, that's that's a lot better where they were last year. I think they started 0-4 of the Black Diamond. Yeah. So this is this is exactly what the doctor ordered. You get your confidence in your quarterback, Brad Bell, yes. who has just looked like a man on a mission out there. I can't wait to pick. I want to hear in a second. I want to check and see how the Polo Pirates are, Poto Pirates are doing because they are the class of 4A4. Yes, they are. So if we can – because. It always comes down to Salisaw. I mean, I'm not looking ahead, but I always like to monitor what they're doing down there. You have to, man. Yeah, for sure. Look over your shoulders, yeah. as, as my mom used to say. Uh, always look to, over your shoulders, son. With Poto, we're trying to chase them down. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. They've kind of been – of course, they got a whole new regime down there, though. In the end, I always want to beat Poto. But tonight we're trying to beat the Stigler Panthers, and we are up 26 points on them, 54 to 28 here with 4.50 to go. Stigler has the ball. We're going to keep it right here. And uh, here's a little – Here's a little update for you. It's Poto 53, Hale 2. Okay, it's also Hale. <laughs> In the fourth quarter. So, I got Poto, they replaced one running back. I can't remember the, the guy's last name, but his little brother's the running back now. And I, apparently, it's just like a bloodline I see. Uh, of running backs down there. So, yep. Poto's always going to be good. Yeah. You know, just like Salisaw, Poto, class of, like I said, the 4A4. And, hey, that's okay. That's right. And here's a piece of trivia for Tulsa Hale. Speaking of Tulsa Hale, my uncle graduated from Tulsa Hale, and he was the South South Black Diamond radio broadcaster for many years. Oh, there you go. Fred Reynolds, that's right. Fred Reynolds, yes. That's did, right. Did not know that. Yep, Tulsa Hale. Since you mentioned him, I thought I should. Okay, 4.48 to go. Going to be a wheel route deep, Justin. Uh-oh, he's behind the defense. Looks like number four. Oh, and great. he was brought down at the 30-yard line. Nice play by... Stigler, yeah. they're still trying to they're still trying to put up some points out there. The catch was by Barger, who's been their leading receiver. Brody Nicholson and Brad Bell out there on the coverage. Or excuse me, Jordan Oliver. I apologize. And Brad Bell. Well, I had them both right. So there you go. All those All right. guys are still out there. But Brody Nicholson, he's had himself a game tonight along with Cecil Odom. I don't think we called either one of those young men's game or names <laughs> last week because no. they, they just they weren't they weren't the that secondary and the linebackers weren't having the tackle. The That's D line right. were knocking everybody down. They were making some tackles, but uh it was definitely hard to see. Now, oh, tonight yes, we have a perfect vantage point. Well, we're back Good home, job, man. We're our, back home. Good job by our cameraman and our instant replay. Uh, All right, Spearman going to throw it off the right. He's, he makes a nice, nice throw block. and Ooh, catch. Good block by man. his receiver. Finally brought down there by number 21, Connor Daffin. All right, making a play. Good job, Connor. Comes Ben, but don't break. Jordan Oliver is going to check out of the game, number 15. Caden Bailey, a sophomore, he's going to take his spot. 54 to 28, Salisaw up. Four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. Going to be 15 seconds left on the play clock. Put my head out the window here and get, an, <laughs> get a viewpoint on it. Spearman back to pass. He's going to throw it over the middle on the crossing route. That's number two again. He's going to be brought down short of the goal line, but he might have got the first down. Justin will have to wait and see what the measurement says. Yeah, great pursuit there by the Black Diamonds. I think that was number 25. I can't really say. I, I want to say that's 25, Caleb Borman. Okay. The freshman? The Zena. freshman. I, I, I want to say that, but I couldn't really see the number. So. Okay. You know, the, the Bormans uh, and Mix TV. Oh, yeah. That's, that's Holly's, that's that's Holly's <laughs> kid. So <laughs> hopefully that here. was him. I, you might be right. It's hard to see from this angle. Okay. Spearman's going to be on the keeper, but he's brought down in the backfield by Connor Lane Daffin. <laughs> First second of his career. The sophomore linebacker. Nice play, Connor. If you can't tell, ladies and gentlemen, Connor Daffin. <laughs> he's my brother in law. He's your brother in law. Right. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. He hadn't played football in a while, hey, so he's hey, out there doing well, his listen, thing. Well, listen. You know, we're both from South Salsa. So yeah. uh, eventually, we're going to run into a fam family member <laughs> that's, that's playing. So. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, I cheer for the boy, for sure. Still trying to we get. We play it. a lot of catch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a good guitar player, too. By oh, way. fantastic. 54 to 28. Spearman. He's got a man over the middle. Oh. Nice play by who is that? Ortega, Ortega number almost seven. Almost had the interception there. Still not getting a clarification on the number. I believe the number, I, th I, said, I said Caleb Borman. I think it was actually 24 Nicholson again. It, it, it's, it's hard yep. to tell. Late in the game, the numbers are all scrunched up. But Nice. 26-point ball game. Two minutes, 43 seconds to go here for your Salisaw Black Diamonds. Third and 10. Ball is on the 10-yard line. So it's going to be third and goal. All right, we're going to be having a little bit of a blitz, on, but the Panthers, they're trying everything right now, but it's just not happening for them. So good for the Black Diamonds. going to be fourth down. Hopefully they can shut them down right here. Ball sails to out to yeah. the <laughs> out to the crowd. I think my yeah. uncle Joe is out there. Mm -hmm. Marvin caught that one. 
to the concession Joe. stand. Maybe they brought back some nachos with them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? Fourth down and ten. Spread offense. Four wide receivers. Spearman. He's just going to throw it up, I think. Nice play by the defense. Who was that Aubrey out there? Aubrey Henshaw and Ortega again. And number 36, Clay Glass out there. Yeah. So great job with those guys. Also number 22, Sam Sequici was in the game. Nice. Looks like that's going to be a four. That was the fourth down. That's a turnover on downs for your Black Diamonds. Yeah. I got, sorry, the crowd might get a little out of control. It's all good. <laughs> a little out of no. control. <laughs> get excited. <laughs> Again, just a great, great defense. Or it's great, been a fun, great right, play. Man. Yeah, it's, hey, when yeah, you're winning you this big, fun? it makes a lot of fun. Like, our production guys have they can't hear us. They okay. don't know what's going on. They think something's wrong. Look at them. Though. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> are y'all having fun? Yes, <laughs> everybody's having a good time here. Cool <laughs> here in the press box. You gotta have fun when you do Perry this. Perry Yeah, if you can't have fun doing no. this, man. I mean, how many you games may do you get go a year? Try something else out. Hopefully, South will get a lot of games. Yes, this year. they play like this. They sure will. All right, trips. Formation going to give up the middle. Looks like Dad. K Park's still out there along with Bell. And the clock begins to tick down here. They're going to get some subs in now, get some guys some reps. Looks like 22 is coming in the game. Sam Sequici, number right. 22. Who else is coming in? Number there. 72, Cody Deal. Perfect. Number 12, James Limbaugh, or Limbaugh, excuse me. Yep. Now let's see here. We'll try to get some numbers. Number 73, Brandon Valdez, I think, has been out there anyway. For 72, I think I just said Cody Deal. Mind your way. No, okay. you're good. I'm watching right. the monitor here. We're Very all good. good. Okay. You know, I like what Southall did this year. They moved the band back from the – they had stands yes. for the band in the, in the end zone, but they moved back with the crowd. It made a big difference tonight here at home. That's the way it used to be when I went to school yeah, here. a lot more fun. All right, looks like it's going to be give up the middle. Nice run by number two. That's probably going to be – Jimenez. Oscar. Uh, I think that – I think that we may have that in our – I think uh, – I don't know. We're gonna see. Okay. Yep. We got road uniforms and we got yeah. away <laughs> uniforms here. So that's yeah, something some that. Yeah. And some of these guys that that don't you know aren't yeah. first teamers. We we got to kind of look. I think they may have a different coat. Uh, let's see here. Whoever he is, the young man had a great play there. You got it. Fast. You got it. He's gonna be a sophomore running back. You're good. You're good. Good job, coaches. <laughs> Hunter Williams, number two. There he is. There he is, Hunter Williams. Hunter Williams. Two. My apologies. Excellent. There. No, no, no. You're going the, off the off the begin paper. Begin the kneel down here is. Oh, going to be victory formation. The best form. Oh, best yep. formation in football as the coaches begin to make their way down. You know they're satisfied with a big victory here. Coach right. Green going down. Coach Lutmer up here. I thought that was Hunter because I've seen him wrestle and the boy can wrestle because I was speaking, thinking. <laughs> speaking of wrestling, I'm yeah. going to throw a shameless plug out there okay. to my son, Russell, who goes to school in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay, yeah, your boy. Is on the wrestling team Ooh. in Fayetteville. Nice. Now, they, it's, now, wrestling up there is not like it is here. They just start. It's relatively new in okay. Arkansas. How's he doing? So, uh, well, he's on the team. Okay. <laughs> so does he enjoy far, it? That's as far yeah, as we've no. got. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, victory formation for your Black Diamonds. I think that's going to do it, Dave. Looks like 12 was in there taking the snaps. That's Limbaugh, like you said, the junior, getting everybody some snaps. Yep, total, total domination for Salisaw tonight, Dave, and that's going to wrap it up. 15-14, the time is clicking off the clock. Salisaw is going to win this game 54-28 over Stigler. And we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back, wrap this show up, and look forward to next week. You're watching Southside Black Diamond Football on Mix TV Channel 19.